Hi, everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, and welcome to a new live stream, and welcome to Saturday night here in Moscow, Russia. Now, I thought it was Sunday for some strange reason. Um, I've been home all day today, and I think I'm just starting to lose my mind a little uh, with what day of the week it is. Um, so yeah, I did actually put Sunday night on the original title. Now I've changed it to Saturday night. But I think sometimes uh, YouTube takes a little while to catch up to the right time and right day. So yeah, it is Saturday evening in Moscow, Russia. I'm actually in Moscow region. I'm about 50 kilometers from Moscow. Um, and yeah, I'm in my Moscow kitchen. You can see roughly just behind me. Uh, you have some nice, interesting colors here on the side. This is the washing from today. So I've been a little bit busy uh, doing some things. So yeah, if you're here live, uh, let me know in the chat uh, that you're here, maybe where you're from, uh, and also maybe what time it is where you are too. It's currently 7.40 p.m. here in Moscow. And I think, yes, exactly 7.40 p.m. So yeah, thanks for joining me live. Now, I generally do my live streams either on Saturday nights or Sunday nights. So this is pretty much right about the right time. I know usually there's not lots of people watching live. So uh, if a few people join now, that's great. Maybe some people will watch it on replay later. That's also good. So yeah, magically the uh, sheets disappeared from the door right there. So <laughs> nice. Uh, BZKL, hello. Gonna watch it. Nice. Chubby McPats. Love the channel, my friend. Content idea. Go, can you go? Can you get a walkabout inside a famous Russian buffet? Food sells clicks. I can do that at some point, yes. Probably the most famous one is inside Goom, which is the department store right alongside the Red Square. And then up on the third level is a place called Stolova 57, which is probably the most famous uh, food buffet or Russian buffet, if you like, in all of Moscow. Uh, there is Stolova's is basically a canteen or a buffet. Uh, there is actually lots of them. That's number 57. When I was there last time, I was with a friend and we had this joke about where are the other 56 buffets? Uh, so yeah, I definitely can work on doing a video like that. Fireflux, hello. Uh, great background says Ulanor von Krieger. Hello. Two minutes more. That's me, Fireflux, Mister Doctor Kerr C. Hello, big flag waving. How's it going? I've got my usual setup today, so my camera is slightly off center from where I read the chat. So if I don't always look at the camera, it's because I'm looking at the live chat. It's much easier to follow along with everybody uh, and chat away. Now, if you're curious about the title and the poll, if you've watched other live streams, you probably know about my crazy idea. I will go over it again and see what we can do to get a little bit closer. Now, it really is very close uh, because of this document right here. And these signatures on the back right here, that's it. I'll just flash it up. I'm sure people are going to freeze it and zoom into it and do all sorts of things. So for now, the crazy idea is becoming a possible or hopefully a reality. So uh, hopefully. It's 9.40 in the morning in Phoenix, in Arizona. I was watching the golf last night and it's on again today. Uh, the... Um, PGA Golf was on from Florida, so it's on basically all evening until overnight tomorrow. 4.41 where you are, 5.67, so you're somewhere in Europe, Dr. Kerr, I would imagine, because that's three hours earlier, which is most of the European time. Lunchtime in Montreal, nice. I've been to Quebec when I was on cruise ships, Chateau Frontenac. Four forty one. <laughs> I think that's right. CV Wonder five six seven. Yes, that's right. Three hours difference. Two hours difference for Gothenburg. Dang, hello. Any problems for you in Russia? Not 
Any problems? No. The main challenge is my great idea or my crazy idea and how I can make it come to fruition. Mostly, it's uh, the idea is to buy an apartment. And for me to buy an apartment here in Moscow or Moscow region and somehow figure out how to pay for it. Because obviously, I can't send money from Australia very simply. Uh, I definitely can't send large amounts of money from Australia very simply because of the fact SWIFT is cut off. Uh, using uh, Australian cards or non-Russian cards are not working. So that's a slight problem as well. Um, greetings from St. Petersburg. Hello. I didn't quite catch your name, but I got your... Uh, Irina, Zdrasvati. Happy Women's Day last week. I hope maybe you watched the video of me going to the flower rinok in Moscow. Uh, Riskaya rinok. I wonder if anybody else watched that. Palestina, hello. Sergey, hello. Oh, long time watcher of the channel. I'm very sorry if I don't catch all of your comments on videos. I know you do a lot of commenting. It's very hard to keep up with comments when videos get a lot of views. Uh, what city I'm in? I'm in Moscow region. I'm in a Prelevka, which is what's called Narofominsk, is the district. Uh, not too far from Vanukova Airport. So if you know Moscow uh, as a whole area, there is four airports. Well, even as many as five, if you want to count them all. Uh, Vanukov Airport's the one that handles a lot of domestic flights and also flights to Dubai, flights with uh, Turkish airlines to Istanbul through Europe. So I'm literally not, it's 12 minutes is my fastest time I can get from the taxi pickup at arrivals to my house. Uh, what kind of idea? The idea is to buy an apartment by doing what's called fan funding. Uh, and basically, uh, if everybody gives a amount of money, uh, we can buy an apartment tomorrow. Now, this piece of paper right here, this piece of paper here is essentially me buying an apartment for now. Uh, Sam, hello. Sam Ogon, hello. What is on the paper? So, Andre, that's all of the information about buying an apartment or Essentially, an offer to buy an apartment. Let's call it that. Uh, that's what it is for now. Uh, you're in Scotland. Curtsy, hello. Uh, why do you talk so little to the people around you in the videos? Uh, because most people don't want to be on the videos or don't want to be in the videos. Um, it's difficult to find people who uh, speak a nice English that it would make sense in terms of me asking them questions. If you watch the Flower Rinnock or Flower Market video, that lady who's also in the Telegram chat, by the way, she was super nice to be on that video. Uh, no, no, it's actually buy an apartment is the crazy idea. Yes, Quebec, beautiful place. Um, uh, what would be an average worker's weekly pay? James, that's impossible to answer. Because if you, uh, especially in Moscow, because there is literally every person, if you lined up 100 people in a row, every person earns a different amount of money. And the other thing ultimately is everybody has a lot, uh, has different expenses. So where somebody owns an apartment, rather than taking a mortgage on it or paying rent, they don't have bills. Uh, they have water and gas or electricity, depending on the type of apartment you're in which is very minimal. Uh, the cost of my phone is I'm paying $6 a month for my full unlimited internet, calls, whatever you want to do with it. Six US dollars a month is my internet. So compare that where you live. It's near impossible to talk about wages in Russia. Uh, from South Wales, Stevie Wonder. South Wales. I can't figure how much further south it can be. There's not much left if you're in the south of the corner of the country. Uh, does healthcare, I don't know what healthcare covers because I've pretty much been to a, a hospital once in 10 years. Uh, why do you want to get a flat there? Because that's pretty much the common housing that most people have in Russia. And it's the probably most value for money and easily accessible thing that I can buy. Uh, just to go back on the live stream, uh, thank you everybody for 40 likes so far. 40. Thank you. If you put a like on one of the on the video right now, thank you so much. 
Um, I just also want to mention uh, there is a pinned comment. If anyone wants to support my crazy idea or support the channel or support me, um, you're more than welcome to. There's a couple of easy ways. If you're pretty much anywhere in the world, there is the option to do super chat or super stickers, which is via YouTube. Um, that works completely fine for me because of the way my account set up in Australia and it goes to my account and so forth like that. But the other option is by donation alerts. Now, the last time I did a live stream was 10 days ago because that's when the last lot of donations were on there. And that can be for anybody in the world. So if you're in Russia or somewhere else. Uh, and then someone did a donation 17 hours ago, anonymous, always anonymous. You're quite well, actually, one, two, three, four, five, five people in a row have done anonymouses. So during the last live stream 10 days ago, there was four in a row. One, two, three, four in a row. And then the one was 17 hours ago. Now, I think they did that because I did a post on my Telegram channel about my updated updated crazy idea. Uh, David's in BC. Hello. So if anyone wants to use donation alerts like adequate Xiaomi guy has just done. Hi, Russell. Hi, chat. There is, this is my twice, uh, twice donated for you. Tumin uh, is watching here at 9.50. Seven, eight, no, two hours ahead in Tumin. Why are you, why are you decided to reduce the crazy idea goal? Do you have any final records from the USSR? So adequate Xiaomi guy, I, live in a Prelivka, and you know that famously, this was the largest and I think the most famous vinyl record factory in all of Russia, where they produce vinyl records in my town. So imagine there's a whole lot of houses around this area with records in boxes that are probably worth way more than I realize. Um, yeah, so Adequate Xiaomi Guy, you donated to on donation alerts. Now you've actually given me more than the amount that I need or want or need. Well, you can give me more. Doesn't really matter. Oleg's in St. Petersburg. Hello. Zdravstvati. Uh, near Kubinka. Greek in Russia. Or geek in Russia. Kubinka's down the road from me. Uh, yeah, so I've been to Patri I've been to the Kubinka Tank Museum probably nine years ago. The f it was the first place I pretty much went to within the first couple of weeks of coming to Russia. The first time I came to visit my wife. Uh, my wife had one of our neighbors take me to go see a tank museum. Uh, he didn't speak a word of English the whole day, and I didn't speak a word of Russian. But we went to a tank museum in Kubinka. It's considered, I think, the best tank museum in the world. I'm not sure if it still has that uh, title. But then, of course, Patriot Park is nearby, which they built in the last few years. Um, yeah, down the road, just literally down Kiev Uh Peter, thank you for being a... Uh, channel member. I know you're always in the live streams and one month I've been a channel member. Thank you. Uh, David's in BC. Hello from Finland. Mr. Jamo, I know you're also a long time watcher. And two Celsius. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Oh, it's five, It's plus five here in Aprilivka today. Uh, Peter, hello. Yes. So thank you, Xiaomi guy. I'm going to explain it in a second if I can. Fun text. Hello. Greetings from Germany. Uh, will they permit a foreigner to buy at this moment? Yes. Well, I have I have a residency here in Russia. So technically, yes, I can. Uh, it is a little bit more documents and paperwork and some translations additional because everything's in Russian and they want you to be able to read Russian and I can't exactly read um, this document front and back. It's got some amendments here and some signatures down here. So yes, technically I can. Uh Bijingo. Um, oh, it doesn't translate. What's going on? Uh, in having a good evening. Thank you, Bijingo. We are having a good evening. Exploration Canada. Privyet, Russell. Yes, the Rasvati. How are you? Uh, chubby, how? How? I guess we're... Your wife is Russian. Yes. She can open an account with you with Spare Bank and you won't have to worry about moving your funds around. Yes, I have. Oh, I don't have my card. You have to trust me. I've had a spare bank account since the first time I came to Russia, nearly 10 years ago. Um, my card's in my bag on the side here. I was going to grab it out and show you it. So yes, I actually, anybody who actually, even a tourist who uh, turns up here today at the airport tonight, 
tomorrow uh, well tomorrow is sunday so i guess monday well banks are open tomorrow depending on where you go on monday you could go there you could walk in with a tourist visa and open a spare bank account on the spot no problems uh yes we in our oh, blast maybe a bit compared to istanbul prices are very high and most houses are very oldish and awful well i guess that's an opinion about the quality of the housing yes definitely houses in the moscow center are expensive i agree how hard is it to get access to your overseas bank accounts? Uh, for me, it's easy because we've come up with a way to do it. Uh, if you're someone that's come to Russia without any idea of how to get money from your account from whatever country to Russia, it's difficult. Um, and I think even to this day, even whatever, a year and a half since they cut off SWIFT, um, it's still difficult. Um, so yes, we've come up with a creative way of doing it, but obviously to buy an apartment, it's a little bit more challenging because it's bigger numbers. Uh, we want to buy an apartment in this building in Aprilovka, where we live right now. In this building, literally, it's four elevators wide, it's 14 levels. Uh, add a Bitcoin address so people can donate there. Also, I don't know, well, I'm not really into doing Bitcoin things because it's just too complicated. Uh, mostly the fact you've got to have different payment gateways to get the money, to get the money, to get the money. Uh, essentially, donation alerts, which is set up right there, that money will come in my bank account at about 3 or 4 a.m. tomorrow morning in my spare bank account. It literally links directly to my Australian, well, sorry, to my Russian account here in Moscow. So if you do donation alerts, uh, I will get it tomorrow I'll wake up in the morning and it'll be there in my bank already, uh, literally. So, Romas, hello. Uh, hello from Texas. Connie, hello to you in Texas. Uh, this morning, 6 a.m. local time, Russian oil, okay. Um, price in D.C. Yes, vinyl record factory was there in a prelivka. I know, and that's why I asked you. Yes, <laughs> I should probably go and door knock or especially go to some of the older houses in the area. And see if they've got some. They've probably got a box of them. They have no idea that they're worth tens of thousands of dollars because they're so rare. Um, and I could be a secret millionaire. Uh, the, the This evening pop-up. Yes, I've actually got it as a pop-up on the screen. Tinkoff is the best. I've got Spare Bank. I've always had it. It's been absolutely perfect. I've got an app on my phone. My wife has it as well. Um, and I've never had any problems with it. So I'm not too worried about all these different ones. Rifi and Swift to Corona Pay. To da, 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 da. Yeah, I know there's all these 12 different methods. Uh, the one that we figured out is basically Australia to Russia, bank account to bank account. Done and dusted. So, Bebel, thank you for the donation. Uh, so for the super chat. Hello, Russell from the Bay Area. Yes, from San Francisco. Good idea with your big idea. Thank you. Yes. Now, realistically, well, I don't think realistically, I want to do my, well, my almost next live stream from this apartment. I don't think it, I, I think it's going to be, well, let's say in less than a month, less than a month. Uh, thank you, Bearball. And thank you, Peter. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Peter, also for donation. Uh, I think yours is a super sticker. Super stickers are normally the picture ones, right? But of course, I know you support the channel a lot. And Bearball, of course, you're a very lot. I think you're one of the OGs of this channel. Uh, literally, the OGs of the channel. Um... <laughs> uh -huh. What is the difference between when you, uh, what you want to buy from Khrushchevka? Well, Khrushchevka is a five-level apartment which is typically what they call a panel house. Uh, I've done a video on a Khrushchevka in Narofominsk, which is my neighbor's uh, parents' house. I went and filmed the video there. Um, this apartment building is 14 levels. It's only 12 years old. A lot of the Khrushchevkas can be 30, 40, 50 years old, or I mean, there's even modern brand new ones in some areas. Um, so this is basically a more modern apartment building. It's 12 years old, pretty much, in rural Oklahoma. How can I visit beautiful Russia from England? It's not impossible. No, you can get a visa, a visitor's visa, or a tourist visa. You can apply through the Russian embassy in England, I guess, or UK. 
And then you can fly from England to Istanbul, Istanbul to Moscow. Very simple and straightforward. Yes. I do say make it sound like that, but I've traveled the world. Uh, I worked on cruise ships. I've been all around the world. <laughs> and everything is simple if you want it to be simple. Saskatchewan. Did your wife vote already? No, she didn't. Tomorrow. Tomorrow she will. Uh, because tomorrow we're going to go to a local Maslanitsa event in our town. Um, and you can do voting actually either there or at the school, I think, which is really quite close by. So... Hello, Russell. Matt Hayes. So my wife is voting tomorrow. Super chat, it called the thing was a sticker on a super sticker. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> Bebel, 21 months. Yes, that's pretty much exactly as old as the channel is. Or I, soon, when I set up the uh, original membership option. Uh, so yeah, wow. That's crazy. Um, 9, 10 a.m. in California. Yes, I'm going to watch the golf after this. I'm going to have something to eat for dinner. I know it's a little bit late, but my wife uh, marinated some chicken for me to have some chicken for dinner later. So we're kind of letting it marinate still. Victoria, good luck with your idea. Brandon, thank you. In Victoria, in Australia. Sorry if it's crazy time for you. I didn't watch the football today. The first, well kind of the first week of the AFL football started this week. I see Collingwood lost two times in a row. So, yes, I'm only slightly happy about that. Just over. Hmm. Not sure what that means. Uh, uh, Dave Beer. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the thumbs up. 88 thumbs up. Wow. Wow. Uh, hey, Russell, with, wish you best of luck with your idea. Hey, foreigners, friends of Russell, best wishes from Mother Russia. Thank you, Yuri. Zdravstvati. Ochen Priyatna. Hello from Maui, Hawaii, where the sun is just rising. Oh, Now, what, with me watching the golf in Florida yesterday, I went to the Sony Open in Honolulu. Wow, that's a long time ago now. It'd have to be 15 years ago when the Sony Open it was uh, in... Uh, is it Kahului? It's not far from uh, Honolulu. Well, where um, uh, Waimea, Waimea Bay? Oh my gosh, where is the beach in Honolulu? And then Kahului is further down the road. I had a friend from cruise ships who lived there in Kahului. Very nice place. But I've cruised to Hawaiian Islands many times. Uh, thank you. You're amazing for the super chat. This will all make sense in a second. Um, and actually... Uh, the crazy idea and what's called fan funding. This is where this all comes in together and makes it all work. Uh, I'm watching you from Turkey. Your English is understandable to me. How many languages do you speak? I speak just, well, I always say two. I say Australian and English. So I speak only uh, two languages. But I can speak a couple of words of every language in the world from working on cruise ships. So. Um, yeah, pretty much English is the language they speak. Kosu, hey, how are you? Uh, how much are you spending, maybe? So, yeah, the amount for the apartment. Now, let's put it up on screen, shall we? Let's do this. And the, oh, yeah, well, my little icon is there, but that's okay. So, yeah, crazy idea time. So, I've had this a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> pie supporter, thanks for rubbing it in. Sorry, Erica, hello. Flores Conteres, Montero, uh, Fernandez, Hernandez, Gutierrez. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, yes, I we, we we in WA, you know, we loathe or we want any team to win <laughs> who's playing against Collingwood. <laughs> Although, you know, um, you've got some great players. But, you know, you only won the flag two games ago and you're already... What was they were complaining on the news that the fans were going home before the final siren. Uh, Linz, hello. What happened? What is a crazy idea? Everybody's here for the crazy idea. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you. I said it very clearly. Did I say it very clearly? Um, I'm going to just press that um, to get... 
I had a, oh, I had a quick Xiaomi guy. Come on. Because you've got, I can't read everything that's in Russian, so. Do you do tours of the Moscow Metro? I've done a couple. I go on the Moscow Metro every couple of days. Um, I really need to fill more things in the Moscow Metro. Um, it would make sense. Uh, if you want to go for a tour on the Moscow Metro together, we can certainly ride now. Look, everybody's leaving the live stream already. The mountain of people watching has now gone down the minute I put my crazy idea. So basically, if I divide the amount of money for an apartment by the number of subscribers on the channel, it works out at 23.06 rubles uh, per person. Okay, so if everybody who's do who subscriber donated 23.06 rubles or 25 US cents, that's based on the exchange rate yesterday, which is pretty much about 92 or 93 rubles to an American dollar, about 100 rubles to one euro or pound. Um, you can be a part of the crowdfunding. Crazy idea. Buying an apartment, I found. Now that would make a great video. Yes. And that's this document right here. If I just flang it around, then people aren't going to be able to read it. There's some signatures on the back, um, which are basically a offer to buy an apartment. Um, and that's, in a nutshell, where we're at with my crazy idea. Now, now it's not one of those crazy ideas. Let's trade a paperclip to a Lamborghini. You know, it's not one of those traveling the world with no money or hitchhiking across Russia uh, without, <laughs> I don't know, a spare bank card for payment. Um, but what's that in US dollars? Uh, it's 32,000, I think. Yeah, well, no, it'll be, it'll be a fraction off, right? Because the US dollar is 90, let me just press it here, over here, uh, USD. I always have it with Australian to USD. Three, two, zero, 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 zero. It's thirty-four thousand five hundred and ninety-two dollars um, to buy the apartment tomorrow. Tomorrow, literally tomorrow. So if the world was to be amazing and all of the moons aligned with the stars, with the sun, then the idea, I mean, the idea is, is the 23 rubles. So I don't even have, oh, no, I actually do have, well, no, where's my five rubles? My wife gave me this yesterday. Uh, no, the day before. Oh, she gave me the 10 ruble one a couple of weeks ago. That's the 10 ruble. So just remember, 92 rubles is a dollar. That's a 10 ruble note. And my squashed... Five dollar, five dollar note. My five, five ruble note that my wife got me yesterday or the day before. Um, so thirty, well, twenty three rubles is basically that's per person of all the subscribers on the channel. Thirty eight thousand seven forty five. I think there might be more subscribers now than this is when I did it yesterday. So probably we've gained a few hundred overnight. I don't know exactly how many we've gained. Um, oh my gosh, I can't do seven things at once today because that's just how it rolls. Uh, 138, 817. 817. So we've gone up 60 or 70 subscribers. So the number has probably come down to 23.01 or something like that. And that basically buys me an apartment tomorrow. So I can basically, well, there's no phone numbers on here, but, <laughs> oh, there might be, is there? There must be a phone number somewhere on there. I can call them and say, let's go. Give me the keys. I'll give you the money. Let's move in. And the world is a happy place. Andrea, hello in Sweden. How's it going? Uh, 32,000. Yeah, so 3.2. Pretty much I always go by 100 rubles is $1 or one euro, or one pound. I think Canadian's a little bit more. Um, let's do it, everybody. Yeah, if there's a humanly possible, humanly possible way, um, it would happen. But a ghost train that supposedly still rides and makes stops at 12 at night. 
I've heard about this, well, I've heard about this Moscow Metro too. There's like a line that runs from some of the government buildings in Moscow out to the Moscow region. Um, supposedly it comes out my way to go to the airport, but I don't know. There's everybody, about half the people say it's a complete truth and half the people say it's not. So 46,000 Canadian. Yeah, depending on the exchange rate. Uh, and now let me just press something right here. That's probably easier. That's probably easier. Boom. There we go. Let's do it. Every, oh, um, let's scroll down now. Uh, it's a one-room apartment. They Okay, so in Russia, they don't call it bedrooms. They call it rooms. So it's a one-room apartment, but it's actually technically one bedroom because it does have a bedroom and a lounge room and a kitchen and a bathroom and some wardrobes and everything like that and a hallway. But it's called a one-room apartment, which if you're in Russia, that would make complete sense. If you're anywhere else in the world, you're like, where's the room? Uh, but it does have a bedroom. It's right on 50 square meters, 49-something square meters. Um, oh, there you go. Thank you, Mr. Jammer. 100.1. 100.1 uh, rubles to a euro. So if you... So people always talk about this, that the ruble collapsed. But if you're coming to Russia with rubles, sorry, with euros, pounds, dollars, I don't know, um, Iceland money, you're actually getting good money coming here. Um, are your five ruble notes new printed in the last one to two years? I don't know. I really just took the whole gift of the fact. Actually, this is 1997. So it's not a new one. But it's very crispy and very new. It just needs a tiny bit of flattening out. It looks like it's probably been in somebody's wallet. Um, my wife brought home for me. I, I've become a, a, a Russian note collector. It was never a thing that I did, was collecting notes. But my wife got me the new 100 ruble notes. I don't know where she finds all of these. Does this have a date on it? No, it's got a lot of numbers. Oh, yeah, 2022. Right there. Two, 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 two. So, um, can I come and visit? Of course, if you're in Moscow, I'll meet you. We can go out for a, I can take you on a walking tour in Moscow center somewhere. Uh, yeah, one degree. Yeah, it's five Celsius, it tells me in a prelifka right now. So maybe in Moscow, it's a little bit colder. Uh, put me down for a hundred dollars. Wow, that would really drop the number very quickly. No left turns. One room apartment is like three and a half, one bedroom loop. So yeah, 50 square meters. Uh, the place that we're in here is about 875. Uh, this is considered still a one room apartment in this place um, because technically it's got one true bedroom and then this very big lounge room kitchen area here. Um, yeah, it's, it's technically one bedroom apartment uh, because it's it, <laughs> Erica. So it's a little bit awkward because the officially it's one room, but actually they created a second room by putting a wall or a partition wall uh, in between. It'll make sense uh, at some point. <laughs> uh, great price for sure. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. I'm not sure what I'm. I guess I'm explaining things. Uh, how much did it cost in total? Uh, more than three point two million. Um, basically this is the part that I need to figure out. And then the other part, uh, my wife is figuring out if that makes sense, just to be polite in explaining it. Uh, what is your card number? I'm ready to do some crazy things. Uh, the link is in the description. So there's spare bank, spare bank, uh, oh, plus seven, nine, one, six, oui. What am I doing? Nine one six three. Oh. Zero nine eight two. There we go. Someone's gonna call me on the phone now for giving out my number. It's in the description of all videos. I don't hide the fact that it's there. Actually, it's in the pinned comments too, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's right in the pinned comments. Um hundred cent by Sent by phone, don't spend it on beer and gambling. Well, that's definitely a not thing. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I normally I don't use my phone during a live stream because it's not polite to do that. It's not polite. And whoever's done, uh, Lorena Prasanonski, thank you for doing PayPal. PayPal goes to my Australian PayPal and then it comes back to Russia, um, literally. Um, so thank you for doing PayPal. Um, all of these things are set up for me in Australia nice and easily. So PayPal, I get an email, I get a phone number, I get uh, everything. Um, so, th oh, there's whoever's sending to my spare bank. Thank you so much. I can't read things without translating it. So whoever is doing that, you're amazing. I can see two notifications. Uh, Andrea, thank you for super sticker. 36. I guess that's Swedish kroners. Thank you, as always. I know you're very generous to the channel. Thank you so much. I'd love to have like a live thing. Now, if anyone did watch an old video going back, well, an old live stream, this number, the 3.2 million, was considerably more. It's come down considerably. Well, it's come down a lot because I came up with a creative way of getting to 3.2 million. Um, so if you want the money bills flat, you put them in put a towel on it and iron it. Yeah, I thought about the ironing thing because I really want to keep these flat. And I've got some others somewhere that I tied in my desk and I don't know where the other notes are. I, I, so if anyone's in my Telegram channel, uh, Traveling with Russell channel, I do post things like that when I get them and things like that. I think it's the new ones. Oh, so maybe these are the ones that they took out of the stash and are using them now. I... My wife got me that one was it yesterday or the day before. Either yesterday or the day before. Uh, I I really wanted two of them, but uh, we got one of them. So I'm just going to close my phone. Love to you. Thank you, Dave Beer. Thank you. A guy has started with a red paperclip. Yes, and traded them an item the other to another until he got a house in a small town. He made it into an, a restaurant, a business. Now, there is a guy that I met in Key West, Florida, who has a Hummer parked outside his cafe, and he did a similar thing at some point. This guy is very eccentric, Key West, Florida resident, and I've seen a few different YouTubers that did it. I think the one was in Canada, I think, or America, was it? I think there was one guy that did the paperclip to a house, and he was one of the original people to do it. Um... And then there's a few others that have done it, you know, later. There is simply no place for the ghost run according to the schedule. That's interesting. Uh, which is quite cheap. Yeah, so this is not, it's not quite the total amount of the price of the apartment. Uh, it's written on here, the exact total amount. Um, but it took us quite a, probably at least a month to get to this number, if that makes sense, to get to this number. Um, and this is the last number that we need to, there's not a phone number. No, it's just dated. Um, I don't know which one is this. It's all in Russian. This is basically the agreement. So. Oh, you won't be there if you. Price is, uh, is cheaper than in Minsk. This is in Moscow region, remember. So it's not anywhere close to Moscow center. We're 50 kilometers away. We're about 45 minutes an hour away, depending on traffic. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll make me smaller. No. Oh, maybe not. Um, yeah, this is basically the last amount of money, Yuri, to get to basically call and say... We want the keys. Uh, we ultimately don't want a mortgage or repayments, but it's not as simple as that in real life, right? Borbor Shire in West Gippsland. Love learning about more exotic countries. Borbor Shire in West Gippsland. I guess that's Victoria, right? Uh, no left turns. I've just seen an email. Oh my gosh, my phone is like. Bzz, 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 bzz. Thank you. 
Uh, hi, Russell. Uh, oh, per oh per uh, Perry. No left turns. Thank you, Perry. I won't say any more what you've written here. Well, your name. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Just need to take a breath. <laughs> because it's like... Uh, a lot's happened in the last... Well, between today... Well, today's Saturday. I keep thinking it's Sunday. That's how much I've lost my marbles because of all this going on. That is this next level. So... Wow. Well, yeah. Um, it's hard to kind of... Yes. Uh, Yankee Foxtrot, hello or hi. Uh, I'm afraid of drones. No, I'm not afraid of drones. Um, no. Um, I guess it depends. I mean, things that happen around the world happen all the time around the world, right? I mean, plane, plane incidents, train incidents, I don't know, whatever incidents. Um, yeah, and thank you for becoming a member, by the way. Thank you. There's a few emojis that you can do. Um, I do try to, well, I have actually, all the last recent videos I put earlier on the channel for you to watch before they come on the channel. Um, so yeah, oh, there you go. 95 Ks east of Melbourne. Now I'm from Perth, uh, by the way. I've pretty much been to Melbourne literally a couple of times. <laughs> this is how little I've traveled in Australia. I came over for the football a couple of times. Uh, flew over, watched the footy. I actually had a weekend where I watched the Eagles and Dockers. One match in Perth, one in Melbourne, flew back. Um, actually, I flew to, yeah, I've been to Melbourne. And then also we've been to, um, we went to the BMX National Championships. Where was that? Somewhere in regional Victoria. We flew to Melbourne, then my sister drove the car out there somewhere. Peter, thank you for a super sticker. One euro, thank you. That's actually like three and a half people's worth of the crazy idea. <laughs> uh, hi from Germany. Thank you. You got a little green symbol next to your name as well. Um, wow, and the chat's gone really slow. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I guess ultimately, how many people have put yes and no in my poll? 82%. Maybe some people took back the question and re answered it. Um, I've talked about this a few times, by the way, this crazy idea. Um, and I like the idea of that, like, how much money would you give somebody if they asked you on the street, like, can I borrow a dollar? Can I borrow 50 cents? Can I borrow $2? I mean, okay, nowadays, most people don't carry money. Uh, <laughs> so they don't have like loose change and things like that. You know, like the guys washing windows at the traffic lights. Um, and, you know, there's an amount of money that you're going to give somebody without expecting something back. Like, here you go. Thank you. Versus borrowing some money or asking for a loan from a friend or family member. Um, you know, and even when you, you know, like, there's a point at the moment where I want to ask my parents to help me, but I don't want to ask them. And I want to know that I can do it on my own. Um, and that's it, right? You know, and also I have re other relatives in Australia that I could make that question to or ask them. Uh, oh, men at work. Thank you. Can you hear? Can you hear the thunder? Yes. Thank you for, well, two times. Uh, thank you. 25 seconds ago. Thank you, men at work, for donation alerts. So yeah, donation alerts, essentially donation alerts. And okay, where someone's done spare bank and PayPal is pretty much instant, if that makes sense. Uh, the super stickers and super chats go through YouTube and they pay out on the 21st of each month. Uh, depending on how it goes, it's either this month or next month. Uh, with my bank, my uh, YouTube setup, it's basically to my Australian account. It's not going around in circles through three countries to get to me. Uh, so yeah, so Men at Work was the name of the last person who did the donation alerts. 
rather than everyone putting anonymous, 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 anonymous. Uh, Men at Work is the name of uh, a band in Australia that's probably got the most famous song besides our national anthem, uh, which is called uh, Land Down Under. Um, and the band is called Men at Work. They had a couple of hits, but that's the most famous one. And any bar you go to and that gets put on, everybody's singing away. Um, they don't ask to borrow. Firefly. Firefly. Fly Sky. Thank you. Your voice is good at multitasking. Yes, I'm not. I'm, I'm better at it when the chat is slower because I can look at... I've got two screens, by the way, in front of me. So um, it's, you know, not so difficult when there's two screens. Let me just highlight this one right here. Uh, Oggy and the Cockroaches TV. Mariana Nikita will arrive today. I don't know who Mariana Nikita is. Maybe it's somebody uh, famous. I'm not sure. Your voice is good. Have you ever owned a Lada? No, I've not owned a car in Russia. No. I've been to the Lada dealership and done a little bit of a walk around tour of the place. Uh, I do have a driver's license, which is completely valid here. We uh, generally just don't need a car. There is more than adequate public transport. I can get around Moscow on trains, buses, trams, electric trams. You've seen that one. Uh, yeah, so I would love to have a Lada Neva. There's a bit of a dream list that I've talked about on other live streams. This dream, that dream, this dream, that dream. The main one at the moment is to basically buy an apartment um, and not have debt or a mortgage or anything like that. It's not as easy as it sounds. And, you know, I always talk about this to my wife a lot that uh, in the suburb, like where my parents live or where we were living when we were in Australia, well, more than two years ago now, you know, if you lined everybody up, everybody or has a commitment for paying money back, you know, for own home ownership. I mean, the percentage of home ownership in Australia, I think, is a lot, you know, probably considerably lower than it is in Russia. Um, or oh, if you're writing in Russian, I can't read it. Uh, Nikita's parents will arrive tomorrow. I don't know who Nikita is. I'm sorry. Um, London Under is a great song. I listen to it often. Yes. Yeah. The um, there. If you just go into Google and do Land Down Under and watch the YouTube video, it's kind of funny video. A lot of those. 80s, 90s uh, music videos were always very fun because they were so simply made. Uh, you better run, you better take cover. Yes, that's one of the lines. Uh, where are your moderators? I don't have any moderators today. So um, generally, I know I've got about three or four of them. So there's generally moderators watching the live stream, but just not today. So what? I can't do all that all the time. So yeah, what do you think? Do you think this crazy idea is a possibility? Um, <laughs> yeah, so there is, a, someone's talking here about the train in Moscow, the new Moscow 2024 train is now on the Green Line Metro in Moscow, um, which I'm yet to go and see yet. Uh, there's only two of them initially, and then they're going to roll them out slowly, 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 right? So uh, they were in testing phase for quite a lot of months, and now they're in operation. Uh, but the brand new 2024 uh, Moscow Metro trains are there. Apparently, there's people that are just waiting for them to come by. You know, trains come about every. 90 seconds, two minutes, depending on which line you're on and what time of day. So there's people like literally waiting um, for the uh, that particular brand new metro train to go on it. So how did I bring my belongings to Russia? I didn't, I brought my luggage. So each time I've done trips here over the last 10 years, I've just brought more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Pretty much everything you see for this streaming setup, I bought essentially through YouTube. So through people making donations. Uh, the webcam that we've got right here is 100% uh, 
fan funded along with this microphone. And I know I talk about it quite a lot because I do appreciate everybody that supports the channel, uh, either from live streams or watching other videos. Uh, you know, so, um, yeah, so basically I've just brought things over time. I don't have lots of things here, by the way. Uh, pretty much everything on this desk, which you can't really see, uh, is my things. And the rest of the house is my wife's. Um, this place that we're planning to buy. Uh, yeah, so we're renting this place. I was just going to mention exactly that. Um, this place we're living in, we're renting. And we don't want to pay rent anymore. Because I think that's everybody's dream who rents, right? <laughs> Giving money to somebody else. Um, so yeah, where the place, of course, when we buy it, we won't then be renting it. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is basically a rented place. The photo in the thumbnail is our previous place we rented, which is in this same building. And then the place we want to buy is also in this building. We like the area. We like this region. We like the convenience of the train and the bus and being able to get around. We like the fact that there's a food market not so far away, a rinuk. Actually, there's a food rinuk, and then we've got a hardware or a home building rinuk next to it. So uh, the place that we're planning to buy with this crazy idea needs a little bit of TLC. I think that's probably the best way. We can move in. We can live in it straight away. It has a little bit of furniture in there. Uh, not a lot, but a little bit. Um, so we can basically move in and live there right off the bat. But then slowly we're going to need to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Uh, do I own an Akuba? I don't know. Uh, I've never had one. Um, I just probably, I just wouldn't wear one. I live in the sub, I was living in the suburbs in Perth. Pretty much if you live in country areas or regional areas or remote areas you would own one because of the fact that the weather and the sun and the year-round uh, good weather, you would need a hat. So the Akuba is basically the Australian cowboy hat, if you like, and Akuba is a brand as well at the same time. So uh, we're living the dream already. Well, in, once we move out of this place, in, the place we're going to move into is quite a bit smaller. Um, it's not that much smaller, but of course it's, uh, you kind of eliminate the corridor and the essentially the wasted space in this place. When it, this we, we, we're renting this place, we didn't build it, we didn't design it. Whoever did did. Um, so, you know, the living the dream is moving into this place right here, this place right here, uh, and with everybody's uh, help and. Um, I it just ultimately, I just don't want to ask family for help because I think I'm old enough now that I can make things happen myself. I've done it for a lot of years until now. So uh, living in a Prelivka, do you have a vinyl display and vinyl disc? I don't know. Um, my uh, wife is originally from Ufa. So she moved to Moscow after university. Um, I'm, I might hurt her auntie's house. We went, we stayed at her auntie's house back in summer when we went for uh, about, we were there for about a week. We had a few days at a, like a resort that we went to. And then a few days at my, our, our auntie's house. I want to say my auntie's house, but it's my wife's mum's sister. Right. So I don't, I don't remember seeing a record player because that house was inherited from grandparents. It was like passed down in the family. So I don't know, actually. Um, so I'm not, I guess, I, I imagine there's a lot of people who do have them, though, because of, so if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, so in Russia, it's very well known that there's what's called monotowns. And that means it's a town or an area that had manufacturing of some type. So, and generally it was one type of manufacturing per town and everybody that lived here worked there and everybody commuted there and everybody shopped there locally and so forth. And a Prelivka was known for its vinyl record factory. And apparently there's a chemical factory here as well, but I don't know exactly where it is, but it's said there is one. So 
I know now that factory that was producing the vinyl records now produces uh, sports jerseys and sports clothes. So pretty much all the ice hockey shirts that you see in Russia are made at this factory in Aprilovka here now. No. So yeah, please comment away in the comments. <laughs> the live chat has pretty much stopped or slowed down. Um, now there's, of course, only 80 of us watching live, which is okay. Maybe I'll take this off the screen because everybody left right the minute when I started talking about my crazy idea. Um, yes, the grocery stores are filled to capacity. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, so if anyone's watched the last, say, five or ten videos, I went to uh, Uzbekistan, to uh, Tashkent. Uh, about two weeks ago now, I went there for two and a half days or not even three days to go watch Australia play uh, Uzbekistan in a uh, Olympic qualifying football match. And then I decided rather than just go for the day and come back, I'd spent a couple of nights there. Um, so I uh, went and went to a supermarket. Okay, I went to a shopping center. I went to a supermarket. I went to all sorts of places. But I made a video at one of the supermarkets in the shopping center. Um, and it just didn't feel as full in that supermarket as what Moscow supermarkets feel full. Maybe they just have a different way of stocking their shops. Um, in Tashkent, a lot of people shop at the markets and particularly the Chozuk Bazaar that I went to huge, huge market that you can buy everything in there food wise. Um, so not as many people go to traditional supermarkets there. Um, uh, will you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? That's tomorrow, I believe. Um, tomorrow, we're going to go to a Maslanitsa event in Aprilovka. They've got it at the House of Culture. It's in that direction. <laughs> I'm pointing to things. Uh, tomorrow. So they've got like a, a list of events for the day. At the, uh, They do it generally outside the House of Culture. There's the building and then there's kind of a park area around it. So we're going to go to that. Um, there's no bars here in our town. Um, there is one restaurant, technically. Two, if you count the cafe at the sports center, which is actually pretty much close to where we're going tomorrow. The sports center and the house of culture is really next door to each other. Uh, we've got a couple of takeaway pizza places. We've got one KFC, one Burger King. Um, but there's only one restaurant in the shopping center. Uh, but we don't have any bars to go to, like pubs or bars. So... Short of me going to Moscow specifically to go to a bar, I won't be celebrating it. Uh, what is my job in Russia? Um, essentially, uh, I don't have a job that I attend. I've made YouTube videos. Uh, when I originally came here, I was working on cruise ships at the time. And prior to moving here permanently, I was traveling to and from between Australia, Moscow, and most of the ships were in either Florida or Texas. And I worked on cruise ships doing contracts on ships. I was working in the onboard shops doing the retail. Um, so now, basically, I'm creating YouTube videos. Uh, I was running a website about cruise ships, and I was doing YouTube videos about cruise ships prior to getting off the ships. And the website was basically about cruise ships and cruise news and articles about you know, what's the best plug travel plug to take with you on your holiday and things like that and then i just found it was more difficult to do that when i wasn't on cruise ships so samantha morgan thank you for no comment but i appreciate you putting something there oh okay so you're putting emojis and somehow with russian youtube it blocks the emojis so you can put them in the chat but then i can't put them on the screen um so yeah so you doing youtube is it and that's why you see more content more often uh, a lot of content creators do one video per week i'm doing sometimes two or three depending on the week imagine going to a bazaar is shopping is also insane yeah that area where it was there was also a couple of other kind of bazaars or it was a huge area i didn't show nearly all of it um 
it would have been a very long video if I'd have kept showing more and more and more places. I kept walking and there was more places. So I kind of did a good overview of it. But yeah, the whole region where that was in uh, Tashkent, it's pretty impressive, the amount of things are nearby there. Um, thank you for the membership about... Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I do. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I put, if you're a member of the channel, I put the videos earlier than they go on the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get them there longer earlier, but it's not as easy. Gleb, hello in Kyrgyzstan. Now, I don't know if you know about my crazy idea, but if you're watching it on your phone and you can see that, this is my crazy idea here. Three and a half, 3.2 million rubles divided by all the subscribers. 23.06 rubles a person. And I can buy the apartment in this building and move in tomorrow. Well, I can't. It, it's a little bit longer process than that. But that's my crazy idea. I don't think I've even told you about it, have I? Have I talked about it, maybe? <laughs> so, Gleb, by the way, everybody's in Kyrgyzstan. Um, are you planning to visit the North Caucasus? There is a very tasty cuisine there. Uh, I don't have a plan to, no. Uh, you're Russian, really learning Russian lately. I'm learning a tiny bit. Choot, choot. I'm not the best at learning. Um, I'm very much a practical, hands-on person. I left school when I was 14. I only did two years of high school. Um, and my... Learning is very, very, very slow in terms of actual books and studying and paperwork and schoolwork. Um, all those emojis work. Yes. So I wonder why the other ones didn't. Maybe there's certain types of emojis that do and don't work. Um, let me just highlight this. Uh, learned the phrase. Very nice. Uh, Ochen Kuzna. Is that the one? <laughs> Ochen Kuzna. What do you think, Russian people? Cold or warm? I'm not sure what that means. I got a round roast and veggies to cook in the crock pot for St. Paddy's Day. It's not corned beef, but, I, but it's not going to get overloaded with salt and corned beef. Oh, corned beef brine, yes. My mum does that very well in Australia, the corned beef and salty corned beef. Uh, we've tried it here in, uh, we've got like a um, slow cooker here. And we just find just doing roast beef is just as easy and nicer. Put some roast beef in the slow cooker and uh, we pretty much can do a roast dinner here in uh, Moscow, pretty much. The only problem we've got is gravy, but we brought gravy with us from Australia back in November, so you have a lot of good content. Thank you. Uh, he's local from YouTube guy who's local from Kaluga. No, I haven't. Um, no, I don't know who that is. Exploration Canada. I don't really meet any other content creators. Uh, I have lots of contacts with people who are in Moscow that are and in other regions. Uh, Russian Travels, he's in Orenburg. Sam's Russian Adventure, he's in Vladimir. Uh, so definitely those two. Uh, I flew with two airlines. Okay, Winnie, so on the way from Moscow to uh, Tashkent, which is part of the video, I flew with Uzbekistan Airways, uh, which were very nice. Very, very nice. They provided a meal or at least, a, a you know, food. Actually, I wasn't overly hungry, and I gave my food to the guy sitting immediately next to me. I turned around after I just started eating like the bread and butter, and there was a little salad and a little cake and a little biscuit, and then there was a hot meal that got brought. Then the guy next to me had eaten it in like 10 seconds, and he obviously was hungry from not having dinner because the flight was like 8 o'clock. We got on the plane, you know. It was kind of late. Um, and I said, look, just take mine because I wasn't overly hungry. <laughs> so, yeah, very nice experience with Uzbekistan Airways. On the way back, it was with Ut Air, which I've flown with before, um, and nothing. No food, no snacks, no nothing, just uh, water, and that was it. And I think maybe they did tea. I don't know, tea or coffee, but I got a cup of water in a paper cup, 
uh, and everything else was purchasable, which I didn't do. And I think you could actually pre-order food as well, which I didn't do. Um, so yeah, it was the flight with Uzbekistan Airways was better than with the Russian airline. Um, it was four hours each way. Uh, also a very good, you can fly from Belgrade with, uh, yes, I do definitely know that. Yes. Air yes, Serbia flies to and from, I need to time that up with a friend who's from, uh, Belgrade and see if I can go there while he's there. That would be really cool if I could do that and hang out. Um, where is Gleb? Gleb, I'm going to give you the power had as a moderator. I uh, can review and remove chat and hide them. Chat mode in live and also standard moderator. I don't know what a managing moderator is. You're going to become a moderator. So if you want to read some of the Russian comments and delete them if you want, you're welcome to if they're not polite. So yeah, Winnie, I really enjoyed my trip there and back. I mean, I literally was, it was about three weekends ago. It was three Fridays ago. I was lunchtime sitting here. Uh, the flight was at 7 or 8 p.m. So I pretty much just packed my bag, had some food, snacks. The airport is down the road from me to uh, um, Vanukova Airport. So it's not even 15-minute taxi there. I wasn't even going to catch the bus. <laughs> my wife's like, no, I'll, I'll do the taxi for you. Um, so yeah, very easy. I stayed quite close to the airport when I arrived. Uh, stadium and then football was the next day. I had two more nights and came back. Um, no, these emojis are visible. Your YouTube emojis aren't. There you go. So some are and some aren't. Well, that's interesting. I guess depending on how you're typing in the comments. Uh, quiz Qness there. I don't know what Qness is. Oh, Guinness. Definitely you can. Yes. Even in the cheap shops, even in the discount stores, even in the beer stores. Yes, Guinness is more than available. If you watch my video from about five... The when I went to the Chesnock supermarket, the discount supermarket, definitely could. Brian, thank you for super sticker. Brian Kefir, Kef, Kefir, Kefir is the drink that you can get here in Russia. Brian, thank you. This is, by the way, uh, the people like yourself doing super chats, super stickers, donation alerts. Um, and then I think some people, well, some people did everywhere. So even PayPal. And then uh, I think maybe someone else did um, the the Russell's crazy idea send. So thank you so much. Um, yes. So basically, uh, to make this a little bit simpler, uh, my wife, well, her account is set up with the money not my account. So it's going to basically just go in a little bit of a circle and then come back again. But it's staying here in Russia, of course, right? I mean, just go to the other room and back. Um, Peter, hello. No, so yeah, so certain emojis work, certain ones don't. You should speak about medical costs. My two hearts... Yeah, I've not been to a hospital to really kind of follow up on all of this. My two heart specialist consultants, all eight, SKG, ultra heart. But wow. Cost about 100 US, yeah, so 10,000 rubles for everything. Yes, it's very inexpensive or very cheap. Um, I mean, of course, you've got free healthcare if you go to a public hospital or you can go to private or to clinics. Um, my wife is trying to get me to go to do uh, like blood sugar test. Because so this is why you see all this red here and things like this. This is maybe from sh too much sugar. Um, and meanwhile, I have <laughs> strawberry banana yogurt here today for a drink, not a normal fizzy drink. So, Fly Sky, hello. I do not travel in case of being arrested on trumped up charges. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that at all, Johnny, honestly and truly. Um, yeah, I mean, look, if Australians have a travel warning against going to Bali, Indonesia, or to Indonesia generally. Um, and pretty much every other Australian flies there on a daily basis. There's nine flights a day from Perth alone to Bali. 
and they've got a warning against Australians flying to Bali. There's a warning against Americans going to Mexico. Cruise ships go to Cozumel every day of the week. So that's not a problem. Um, Brian, I'm sorry I didn't catch your super chat or super sticker as quick as I should have done. I've got two screens scrolling the live chat and it throws me off a little when there's two different ones scrolling. Uh, men at work, thank you. Who can it be now? I don't know the whole word. Who can it be? Who can it be now? Um, yes. Oh, that's their other song, right? Isn't that, isn't that their second song? That's one of their only other songs. Um, yeah, Belarus is a nice place to go as well. Yes, I've not quite been there. I've almost been to Belarus. But yeah, definitely Kyrgyzstan to Bishkek. I was there with um, my neighbor, Gleb, right there. And I want to go back. We just have to <laughs> plan it and do it. But at the moment, there's a few things going on, Gleb. So, uh, Ron, hello. Huge greetings. Thank you. Now, let me do this even quicker. Those stores are well stocked and super clean. Yes, that's actually in my newest video that will come out in the next couple of days. Um, it may not come out for three or four days. I'm not sure yet, but um, <laughs> almost in every video, I get the guy on that electric cleaning floor cleaner in the videos. If anyone notices that in some of my videos, I talk about it. Uh, I noticed in this video that I filmed, there's a lady like mopping the floor. There's always a lady in the stores cleaning the floors, mopping the floors, cleaning like it's like their, it's their house that they're cleaning. Um, and yeah, honestly and truly, I mean, this doesn't have to be only in Moscow, in other places, even in the supermarket in uh, Tashkent, you know, the places are spotless, immaculate. And that, that's just a forever thing with hygiene with people in Russia, you know, people have clean and tidy homes. You know, you come to somebody's house, you take your shoes off, uh, no matter whose house you enter. You know, you have some slippers to put on there. You know, you put your shoes on when you leave the house. Um, yeah, that's just a thing. That's the first cat on the YouTube. Really? Well, you're the first cat on YouTube. You're cool. Thank you. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Mm, are you the real Ron Jeremy? Huge greetings. Uh, how relaxed the people, uh, I've never been uh, accompanied by anybody anywhere I've filmed about you filming. Uh, they're completely relaxed. Um, an occasional time, um, pretty much in the last six months, I've had one challenge with filming in it and it was at a car dealership and, uh, that's it. But pretty much any shop, supermarket, you can film anywhere in public in Russia. There's a law and a rule that allows you to film in public. And that's why you see so many cell phone videos of everything going on in Russia. You know, you see them car crash videos and, you know, all of the surveillance camera footage that gets released so instantly because everything's in, in public domain, basically. Um, yeah, I've never been a, a, a escorted by anybody. Uh, pretty much on a couple of the, uh, like where I went to the fish factory and the bread factory in St. Petersburg, I was with people from the factory. Uh, at the uh, Moscovich car, deal, uh, car factory, I was with the uh, factory manager of the factory. But definitely nobody from the government. I've never had anybody. Uh, I probably would get more help if I did <laughs> than me doing everything on my own. So yeah, not a problem. Oh, half Guinness and Guinness and ale pie. Oh, Guinness and half bass ale. What? Bounce. That's like sounds like a strange uh, shandy to me. <laughs> uh, drink some oh, apple cider vinegar. No, Blex. No. Yeah, the uh, almost. I mean, the thing when you watch a lot of the videos, and I say it and I repeat it, that it looks like they're all empty. I mean. Uh, the video that I did at the Perry Crosstock, which is the last video on the channel, um, I was there on, when was I there? Thursday? No, Tuesday or Wednesday now. I was there in the middle of the afternoon. I was there for something completely different, which has not been released as a video yet. And then I thought I'd filmed the Perry Crosstock tour, 
And then I went to the Dar supermarket and did both of them because they were right nearby where I was going to. Uh, so I thought, perfect time to make three videos in one day. And then I took the D2 train home to catch the D4 train home and then was in Aprilivka. And that was in Podolsk, if you noticed that. But yeah, the that Perry Crosstalk video, the last one on the channel, even I was there, well, what time would I have been there? Three, four o'clock in the afternoon? I mean, this is work days in Russia. They're work days. People are at school. People are at work. That store was open 24 hours. So, you know, the, I mean, even... I don't need to shop there. I can go to where I live here. There's a supermarket in my building. There is, uh, I've got seven supermarkets within a walking distance of my apartment here. Uh, I could make live videos with other YouTubers in Russia. I could, Peter. I just need to figure out who, how, and what. Um, good evening from Egg Engham. Engham. Steve, hello. Engham. Egham. Uh, I was going to watch a football match later if there is one on. I think there's some Premier League matches on. I was going to watch the golf, really. But then if there's a Premier League match to watch later on, it's only 9 p.m., so it's 6 p.m. in England, right? So the football's a bit later. Well, th uh, wow, 370,000 Russians came to Serbia. And 9,000 new companies were registered. Wow. Maybe they were in the process of a lot of them that probably may be made the move to Serbia, set up businesses. Good idea. Hello from Miami. Oh, nice. I was in the background of Bad Boys, is it two or three? They filmed some of it in downtown Miami. And I was inside the, um, Oh my gosh, what's the pharmacies in, what's the Russian, what's the American pharmacies, the two famous ones? Um, oh my God. I was inside the pharmacy. They closed the street. They drove the car in around the downtown in Miami, literally. And they were filming bad boys. And then they had all the extras on the street that had to stand at the side. And then you know, they called action and they made them walk through the scene as the car came screaming around the corner. Um, but the, yeah, Walgreens or CVS. Thank you, Brian and Alex. I was, I think I was in the CVS, which is the one on the corner on First Street there. Where is the Marshalls and the Ross and all of this stuff? That was our thing. We'd work, we'd be on the cruise ships at the terminal. We'd get the shuttle bus to downtown, go to CVS, <laughs> Walgreens. Thank you. Wow, everybody's writing. Uh, Elkas, Crystal, Alex, Sergey. Um, yeah, Walgreens and CVS. I mean, every crew member on a cruise ship that you ever meet in American-based cruise ships, no CVS and Walgreens backwards. Um, when you were asked about one brand in one of the videos, yeah. So yeah, I was in the background of, I think it's Bad Boys 3. It's the opening scene. If you watch the opening few minutes of Bad Boys... And the bit where the car drives through the downtown, like screams around the corners there. And in real life, that wouldn't happen. But for the movie, of course, I think suggest yeah, you find your own cleaning machines and do branding of them. Yes. <laughs> I've put, pointed them out so many times in the video as well. Bass Ale is an English beer. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I guess that's technically tomorrow. Is it tomorrow, right? Oh, great chunder elixir. <laughs> can you hear? Can you hear them chunder? Where do you like the most in Moscow? Um, anywhere in the city area, in the center. Um, my wife used to work at Sandoni, which is very close by Kuznetsky Mosque and Lubyanka Metro. So, uh, so many times for a very long time, I used to go to always meet her after work, and then we get the metro home and then the bus home. So you know, I wouldn't say a million times, but in that uh, Red Square, Alexander Garden, Plochet Revoluzze area there, I was always there. Like, And that was back when I didn't have a plan about YouTube and making videos, and I could have made them years earlier, you know. Um, just suggesting if you ate too much chocolate and got skin irritation. Yes. Right, yeah. If I don't eat chocolate... And don't, well, this one probably wasn't, hasn't got sugar. 
But if I had neither of them two things, there's probably sugar in this for sure, but if I don't eat that, I mean, actually, if my wife didn't bring them home tonight from work and put them on the desk right here, <laughs> then it wouldn't influence me to have any of them. Uh, what's your crazy idea? Peter, my crazy idea is to buy an apartment. That was my crazy idea since January or actually when we came back from Australia. The plan was to buy an apartment this year, um, preferably in a prelifka, preferably in this building. And if I show you that piece of paper very quickly, then it's slowly, slowly happening. And my idea is if everybody who is a YouTube subscriber to the channel gave me 23.06 rubles right here, or 25 cents American, or 25 cents Euro, I don't know how the coins are in Euros, um, then I can buy an apartment tomorrow, literally. Uh, and that's my crazy idea. So the I, the whole premise of it is, is if I went out on the street and asked any person who I don't know from a bar of soap, can I borrow some money? Now, if you ask that, they probably say no. But if you ask them, can I borrow, where's my notes right here? So I've got, <laughs> I feel like I'm very rich, but it's, oh, it's 10 ruble, oh, it's a five ruble note, five rubles. So that's five cents. There's a 10 ruble, which is 10 cents. And then that's the hundred, which is pretty much the dollar bill, if you like. Um, how much would someone give me if I asked them, can I borrow money? And the idea with 23 rubles or five, 10, 100 rubles is people would give you it and not expect it back. And if you had the idea or pitched the idea about this, I want to buy an apartment and I just need 23 rubles. It sounds realistic or more realistic. Um, can I get groceries delivered? Absolutely can, Linz. Yes, I can go on my phone. Uh, I can go to um, my Russian apps. I can go to Delivery Club right here. It's just opening. And then there's food for delivery. There's even a little picture for Maslonitsa, which is pancake day. Um, and then I can choose the supermarket. So actually, you can see here. Oh, this is hard to do opposite handed. That's Perry Crosstock, which is the last supermarket that I made the video at. I can order from them. There is um, Azbuka Kuza, Perry Crosstock, Magnit, Pitorichka, uh, Kuzville. Mag oh, there's even pharmacies there as well. There's Apteka, there's Lenta. There's a lot. Ashan. Oh, there's even, you can even buy from the perfume shop for delivery. Um, I didn't realize all of these. I didn't know there was all these ones. Oh, there's even cafes. Perry Crosstock Cafe. If you watch the video, you can order from their cafe for delivery. 60 minutes, it'll be delivered to me. Um, 20 to 30 minutes is Pitorishka or Magnet, which are my nearest supermarkets from here. And if I want to go to food, I can get Burger King and KFC. Pretty much that's it from where I live because this is all the ones that are in the immediate area. Um, well, Burger King's closing in two minutes. I think it closes at 10, not at 9, though. That's strange. It says two minutes. I think it closes at 10, though. Yeah, these are all like little tiny small places. And there you go. There's Rustics and KFC on the same screen. Uh, but the KFC is the immediate one where I live. So it's delivered in 15 to 25 minutes, which is pretty much correct. Normally 15 or 20 minutes. You get them delivered if you order. Oh, Rostov on Don. Hello. Zdravstvati. Down south. Uh, what is the idea? Connie, yes. There's my crazy idea. Uh, Brian, thank you. For one more super sticker, 99 cents. Exactly how we need, well, that's three people's crazy idea to get it down less, if that makes sense. Um, Brian, you're so very nice to do multiple super chats. Thank you so much. Um, 
You ain't seen Bad Boys 2 Hot Fuzz reference. Oh, I know Hot Fuzz. I've not seen that for a long time. My gosh. The town near the River Thames near Windsor, Russell. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't know all the places in England too well. I've got relatives in West Yorkshire in Leeds, Bradford area, by the way. Uh, Maddie, hello to you also in England. I'm keeping well. Today's a good day. Today's a little bit crazy day. Even I put the wrong day on the title. I changed from Saturday to Sunday, Sunday to Saturday. Uh, a lot's going on because of my crazy idea and this uh, buying an apartment here in this building, by the way. Oh, from Heathrow. I watch sometimes uh, Big Jet TV. Anyone knows that? That's a YouTube channel where the guy films from the roof of a van. The plane's landing and taking off at Heathrow Airport. A uh, way to improve your beloved garlic bread. You can buy mini mo oh, hang on a second. Mini mozzarella balls and shove them in the slot. Then nuke the micro uh, put well, okay. I'm not a big mozzarella fan, but I like cheese or uh yes. Put mozzarella balls in there and stick it in the microwave. I I didn't quite mention it in my I did a little tiny video in Pitorichko the other day, which is in a future video. But I didn't quite show the uh, the garlic bread. But in the uh, Dar supermarket one I did, I've got it in Dar as well. Uh, I'm going to, tomorrow, uh, Sergei, I'm going to go to my local Maslanitsa event in Aprilovka here. And hopefully it's, oh, what happened to the internet? Oh, no, don't stop. Uh, and hopefully I can do something there. I'm going to see how it is first, and then if I can fill, if I can't, I can't. Like, in terms of not things to film, you know? Enjoy eating chocolate. Yes, Angela, that's my downfall. Do they sell sweet tea in the grocery stores? They sell a lot of teas. Um, a lot of teas in Russia. <laughs> my wife loves tea. We've got a, one of our cupboards in the kitchen here. Has only teas and coffees in it, but mostly teas. With stains upon stains upon tine. There we go. Uh, I don't know if it's the new 100-ruble note. I think it is. My wife keeps turning up with these for me as gifts. Um, so that's one side. 2022. And that's the other side. Which I think that must be places in Moscow, I think. I'm not sure... Where that looks like the Spassky Tower, and I think that's one of the seven sisters in the picture as well. So, uh, hi to your wife. Yes, she's coming in and out a couple of times. Um, thank you, Steve. Uh, crazy idea support fund. Yes, so basically, the YouTube pay part of it all, like where you're doing super chats and stickers, goes to my YouTube AdSense, which, if you get ads on videos, it kind of binds together. And then that goes to my Australian bank account, which would then come back to Russia with my uh, secret source. Uh, but however, donation alerts, Spear Bank, which I've got, uh, some people did, um, is here now, literally. Okay, donation alerts is tomorrow, literally. Uh, about three or four in the morning, that comes on the card in my bank here. It'll then go to my wife, and then she has a... Uh, this special account that we've set up um, that we put the money in for this apartment. Um, uh, there's no 25 cent icon. So there, yeah, there you be. Yes. I, well, right. There's no uh, icon or coins, I think. Right. 10 ruble coins. I don't have any coins. I've got a jar of coins that I should probably cash in. That's how much I don't need my wallet in Russia. I don't even have my wallet there. <laughs> so stop it. You're starving. Yes, I'm a little hungry. But my wife is going to prepare chicken nibble. I call them chicken nibbles. Chicken legs. But they're sort of small chicken legs. Uh, yeah, 25. So it's 23 rubles. Which is just about 25 cents. Magnet is my favorite. Um, yeah, I did a magnet video at my local magnet here, um, but it's not the nicest video because the store is not in the best condition or the best shape. 
There's another magnet couple of minutes walk away, which I probably should film there because the ladies know me there very well and it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, okay. Have I got the wrong thing on the crazy idea? 0 0.25 cents. Huh? Oh, it's 20. Oh, okay. 25. Okay. Oh, well, I'll have to do that. Not now, but yes. Thank you. Vladimir. What did you say the name of the app was? Uh, was Delivery Club. Delivery Club. That's the one that I use, but you can also use Yandex. Uh, this is my Russian app section on my phone. There's Delivery Club right there. These are all my Russian apps. Yandex Go. That's Gostalugi, which is my government one. Yandex Browser. So yeah, that's how I do... I can literally, or I, I really should do it as part of another live stream where I just order something while I'm sitting here at the start of the live stream and then see how long it takes to get delivered. Uh, getting back from Russia, it was very easy. Sailing and travel, it was very simple. Uh, because I've got residency in Russia, I've got a residency visa in my passport. I travel on my Australian passport. Um, so literally going in and out of the country, no problems at all. Uh, just line up, basically. Uh, the line when we arrived in Tashkent was quite long, so there must have been other flights arriving at the same time. But it wasn't really 15, 20 minutes. On the way back, 5 or 10 minutes. I don't even think I was 5 minutes in line. It was pretty much go off the plane straight to the immigration point. Uh, I didn't have luggage, so I literally didn't have to wait for anything on the carousel. I traveled with the backpack for three days. Um, so, yeah, very easy. I'm not sure how to make that contribution for you and Jen. So it depends on where you are, Paul. Uh, who, oh, by the way, whoever's done... Oh, that was a few minutes ago. Anonymous, donation alerts. Thank you. I love anonymous donations for the fact that it lets me think who did the anonymous donation. So donation alerts. Uh, thank you. So yeah, so there's a few different ways, Paul. Uh, the quickest, fastest, and easiest is donation alerts, because that'll be in my bank tomorrow, literally. And then it'll be my wife's account <laughs> two minutes after it's in my bank. Because we're just the way we've set it up is the uh, purchase of the property has to be a special account via the real estate agent. So that's just how we have to do it. Thank you, Anonymous, a few minutes ago, sorry. Um, yeah, Paul. So donation alerts is the easiest one. Uh, if you want to use super chats and super stickers, that goes through YouTube. Uh, that's no problems as well for me because it goes to my Australian bank and then I bring it back to Russia. Uh, Paul, if you happen to be in Russia, uh, the other option is the spare bank. So somebody, that's a bit hard to do my finger like that. Oh, it's gone off already. Um, yeah, PayPal or, um, yeah, spare bank is if you're in Russia. Uh, people do bank to bank transfer a lot here. It's very common. Um, so, yeah, the easiest one is donation alerts followed by super chats followed by PayPal <laughs> if you're not in Russia. Uh, thank you, Brian, again. Thank you so much. Woot. Yeah, you see, it doesn't come up there. When I click it here, it it's there, but on the other live chat, it's not there. Or that, if that makes sense. Um, thank you. My gosh. 166 likes, by the way. Um, that's also double amazing. Uh, Russell, train or plane travel more popular in Russia? Um, it depends on where you're going. Um, you know, trains have been around forever and ever and ever in Russia, and there's a very extensive train network. Uh, you can do sleeper trains, overnight trains. You can do different types of classes in the trains. Um, for going to, of course, to Tashkent and to Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan, it's easy to fly. It's four hours. Same with going to Ufa to meet my wife's family. It's easy to fly. Um, the regional areas around Ro Moscow, you can take the train. Uh, I'd love to do longer distance train trips. My wife wouldn't, <laughs> so I'm completely okay with it. For money, we all know what it means. Thanks, Brian. Yes. 
I'm always doing, even when I do the subtitles on the videos, when I do the dollars to rubles thing now, um, I'm always doing USD. Big hugs. Thank you. Oh, Ivanka. Hello. Uh, Joanna, how's it going? Thank you. Well, never seen the new 100 ruble note. Yeah, I don't, I hear about them all and I read about them all, but then I don't see them. I don't really ever have cash, like paper cash like this. So my wife uh, has it from her uh, nail salon. She gets paid in cash sometimes. And then sometimes she buys something with cash and then she gets change back. So sent you a bit via donation alerts. Oh, Joanna, thank you. Oh, that's your anonymous donation. Thank you so much. You really, well, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess if you're going to come, Joanna, to Moscow, and you're going to come to my wife's nail salon for nails, you're going to see this apartment, I think, because it's going to time up. Uh, me too. Vlad Vladislav, me too. Oh, maybe you haven't seen the 100-ruble note. Uh, do I prefer plane or train? Uh, well, the thing is, forever and ever, in pretty much all my life, I've carried, caught planes. So in Australia, um, there isn't really too much of a train network. So uh, until, I mean, even going to Kaluga to make the video at that farmer's market, I caught the train there. It was a few hours each way on the train. Um, I'm pretty much catching the D4 train, which is the new train line that's in the Moscow network a lot recently. So I'm getting more used to it. Uh, my bro Claudia, thank you. Thank you for thumbs ups. Well, that's a lot of writing in Russian. Who is writing a lot in Russian? Moscow New Acres has recently been massively thrown into circulation. Oh, there we go. New, so a lot of, yeah, the, so the 10 and 5 ruble notes have been put into circulation, but I haven't seen them until now, until my wife got me these recently. Um, Angelina, I like uh, Pilmene. I like Plof. I like uh, Borscht Soup. Maybe the chicken nibbles I'm having later is not Russian. I like vinaigrette, which is the, um, the what is it called? Sorry. Uh, vinaigrette is like the um, uh, beetroot salad. I like hachapuri. That's not Russian, but I like it. Uh, thank you, Peter. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to either watch the football or the golf. And actually, I'm thinking about plugging the computer into the TV over here because I finally got a cable. Uh, or the adapter to plug from my TV to my computer. <laughs> well, I could probably unplug this monitor cable to do it. Thank you, Exploration. Oh, Leo, hello. How's it going? What is your crazy idea? One more time for everybody. I'm the anonymous. Oh, Jana. Jana. So how many accounts you're watching with? Okay, now we got it though. Um, yes. So yeah, this is a crazy idea. Basically, I talked about this a few times. I want to buy an apartment in Moscow, in this building. In a, This is Moscow region, by the way. And if everybody gave 23 rubles each, or 25 cents each, or anything amount more, <laughs> if anyone wants to give 3.2 million, of course, um, anything more than the number would be basically then to do some, a little bit remodeling inside the place that we have worked on right here and some signatures right there um needs a little bit of tlc tender loving care so yes a v yeah a veto for looking for an apartment so that's the crazy idea and i think that if everybody i mean i don't expect people to give me money by the way it's not an expected thing it's nice that people do it um, and I just like the idea of this. I like the idea of this crazy idea and to make it work, you know, and the point, the point is the 23 rubles or 25 cents or whatever coin it is, it's an amount that's realistic. If that makes bigger sense. Uh, thank you, Leo for, well, how do I do that? 
for gifting don't memberships. Thank you. Five gifted memberships. And to people who got them, however you get them. I've never figured out how to get the don the membership when someone gives donations of memberships, by the way. Elkus, Steve, Bond, Rune, Mo, and Oak. And yeah, I think that's five. Thank you. Spring is slowly coming. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's that's the crazy idea. And if anyone wants to help with my crazy idea, uh, it'll all make sense a little bit more in the coming weeks. Um, well, at the point I get some keys, uh, I can't get the keys tomorrow, but that's the dream, right? If I got the money tonight, I can get the keys tomorrow in reality. It can work that quickly. I'm just going to take a suitcase of money to the real estate agent. Uh, Avito, yes. Avito or Cian. Yeah, actually, I just saw that um, uh, Vitaly just mentioned Cian, C-I-A-N as an app. So Avito is kind of a marketplace where you can do things more than just housing, cars, anything you want to shop for. It's like a Facebook marketplace style, but a, a bit of a souped up version. Cian is more a specific app for, um, for a real estate. Yes, absolutely can travel. You can do what you like, Sandy. You can go to the website for the Russian embassy in Russia, in your country, apply online. You need a letter of invitation, which is quite easy to get um, through travel agencies or however you get it. On, on ominous, on anonymous. <laughs> That's a lot of mouthfuls. Ominous, anonymous. Uh, how are you watching foreign TV? Um, I use my computer through a VPN, through another source, through another source. Then I plug it into the... I normally watch it on my monitor here, on my chair, exactly how I'm sitting. I can do my YouTube on one screen and do a TV on another screen. Uh, pretty much it's all sport because uh, it's just that's the website that I use. Um, and then if I want to watch Australian news, I can watch on YouTube, live streaming news channels are everywhere. Uh, the election is going on for three days. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and school was closed on Friday because they used the schools for electioning. So Burger King, yes. don't know if it was asked, but just hopped on, but are you allowed to vote there? I'm not because I don't have citizenship. Uh, my wife can, cause she's a Russian citizen. Uh, who can afford to buy an apartment now with the high mortgage interest rates? Well, that's the whole point, me. And that's why the number on my crazy idea is lower because it's basically factoring in, essentially not needing a mortgage. Um, yes, I agree that the mortgage rates are very high right now. Uh, in Australia, they're high as well. Taxis and such that you can transport wheelchairs. Yeah, you could request different... Linz, there's, I, I know with Moscow Metro and Moscow Transport, they do have programs in place for transporting wheelchairs or people with special needs, as we call them on cruise ships. Um, so yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, uh, available. Uh, most of my local taxis that I catch, like Yandex Go, are just normal uh, sedan cars. But there definitely is a way. Shav soup. I don't know what it is. Shav soup. Soup. Oh, I've spelled that wrong right away. Shav soup. Oh, sorrel soup. Yes. My wife knows what sorrel soup is. It's a large saucepan or... Do oh, okay. Uh, is that the same thing? Yeah, sorrel Onions, translucent, yeah, add water and stock, bring to the boil. Um, we only have one restaurant in my town, and it doesn't really have a very big Russian menu. So I imagine at other places there are. But um, yeah, I, don't, I know the soup you're talking about, though. Uh, string is slowly coming. Congratulations to sponsor. Yes, exactly. Can you say hi, Wayne? Oh, hello, Wayne. Sorry, I'm so extra. Wayne, hello. How are you going? Uh, oh, the gifts happen automatically. I think you've got to set it somehow because I'm not sure if 
because I'm in Russia and the YouTube that I watch, it's got a different setting for this automatically accepting gifted memberships. Oh, they're given randomly. Reaper, hello in the UK. Uh, you have to allow it in your settings to allow accepting your gifts as far as I'm aware in YouTube profile. Oh, thank you, Leo. So I guess all the people who accepted it really want to accept it. Uh, yes, it's about 35,000 US. Yeah. Um, yeah, this place needs a little bit of work, though. Uh, we can definitely move in and not need to do anything the day we move in. Um, we will make a list of things we need to do, and I'll probably make a video about it as well. Uh, social taxis, yes, right. Yeah, I know it's, it, it's, it is, there is a lot of things set up that not everybody knows about in Moscow that you can do and in different cities. Um... Please remember that prices are on Siena are what people want their prices to be. Yes, correct. Remember to do that when researching the market. Right, yeah, I mean, and also uh, if you're renting as well, you might have to pay a commission to a real estate agent. So just be aware of that as well, if that's a factor. Are you voting? I just joined. Uh, it's Blim... Uh, well, it's basically can I buy an apartment in Moscow or in Moscow region where I am here? So, pretty much, I'm going to end that poll so it doesn't create confusion. And I've talked about this a few times my crazy idea in the Moscow. Uh, you can ask help if you are oh, right, and someone can assist you up and down stairs as well. Correct. Yes, that's pretty cool. I've seen that recently. I follow a uh, Telegram channel that gives the Moscow transport uh, like new ideas, press releases, whatever they're talking about in English. So I'm in a uh, Telegram channel that does it in English. Yeah, mobility center in the Moscow metro. Yeah, visibly unimpaired. Yes, this is exactly it. This whole part right here where they help you out. I'm trying to sell a move to Russia. Hopefully. Come on a holiday first, Linz. Don't just get on the plane. Um, you don't want to basically have a lot of things that you don't realize is happening or not happening, but you know, you need to have a bit of a lay of the land. Uh, can I speak other languages besides Russian? Um, Abakaba is hello in Indonesian. Bashir, Bagus. Um, it's kind of like greeting. I know a few words in every language, literally one or two words, not conversation. Um, that's really from cruise ships, working on cruise ships for so many years and meeting so many other crew members. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Two times, or maybe one time, or unless it's double, come up twice. Abakaba, yes. Abakaba, <laughs> bagus. So Saudi Kappa, that's in Thai. So thank thank you, Bini Mizashudarulal. Wow, sorry if I'm getting your name butchered. I'm sorry. But thank you, everybody, everybody really tonight. 181 likes as well. That's amazing also. I know I don't always have lots of people watching live streams. It's normally average is about 100 or so people. Um, yeah, Saudi Kappa. Yeah, so it, it, it's the man and lady greeting is different, isn't it? Saudi car, Saudi cup is man and woman greeting. Uh, chut chut paruski. Uh, I can speak enough Russian to talk to a taxi driver. That's enough Russian. Uh, have you eaten? I've had pancakes almost twice a day, Angelina. My wife has made like a stockpile. Um, when we went to Ufa to my wife's auntie's house, she works in a factory canteen or stolova, my wife's auntie. So when I was there, <laughs> she makes food for like whole factory. And it's just my wife and I and her and her cousin that comes. And my wife did that We're now with pancakes a few days ago, actually. She made like big stuck and it's now like in the fridge. So I've had pancakes twice a day now for three or four days. 
So yes. And then tomorrow for sure, I'm going to go to the local event in Aprilivka here at the House of Culture. And I'm, guarant I, I, I'm guaranteeing before I go that I'm going to have pancakes there. Uh, I can read some of the lettering. I can't read like something that someone types. I can get a couple of letters out of every word. Mostly because I'm learning it from the Moscow Metro station names. So yes, I've had a lot of pancakes. And we've got uh, my wife's auntie's uh, strawberry jam that we brought back from Ufa in the fridge as well. Of the shops of Mak Makachalaka. I don't know what that is, by the way. Uh, if that's a place in Moscow, it would make sense. But I don't know where that is or what it is. Uh, Bash do they celebrate Bashkirian holidays? I guess people from that region do. Uh, my wife is very much a Moscovite, having moved here after university. So, uh, like a pr uh, no, yes, no, yes. Uh, do you miss working on cruise ships, or were the cruise ships like a prison that kept you away from your wife for many months at a time? No, basically, uh, I met her on a holiday between contracts when in Thailand kind of in the last lot of years of working on ships. And at that point, we were doing my visa application for Russia, which was very straightforward, and doing her Australian residency visa for Australia, which is about a two-year process. And because we applied offshore, so outside of Australia, we had to wait a couple of years to get her visa approved, her residency visa anyway. So I was, she was okay with being here. I was okay being on the ships and back and forward. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it was ever a prison. I did 19 years on cruise ships from the very first contract until the last. Um, I mean, you're not there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year. You do, you know, uh, six month, seven month, eight month contracts and you go home, you come back. Um, it's definitely not a prison. Uh, anyone that thinks that pretty much shouldn't work on cruise ships. Uh, if anyone's ever said that, they... Didn't work on cruise ships in long enough to get. It becomes a culture, becomes a, um, it becomes a lifestyle working on cruise ships. And as long as you're good at your job, which I'm going to say 90, 95% of crew members are, a 99% even, uh, and they're doing it. We're doing it like it's just a robot. You know, we just know what to do. Everyone does their part for running the ship, and everything works. You know, and then there's a few. Bubaloos in between who don't want to do work and think that they still should be working on cruise ships. And it kind of breaks the chain, if that makes sense. Yeah, Bellini. Bellini, yes. Pancakes. And you're speaking English a little bit. Nice. Uh, 11.30 Pacific time. 16th of March. Our Elkus. Yes. Uh, we're going to, by the way, finish the live stream in seven more minutes. So we're going to finish right on two hours. Actually, it's going to be, yes, yeah, seven minutes exactly. Have you been all around the world with the cruise ships or was it mostly, yeah, did a, mostly in America. So New York, East Coast of America, Bermuda, Canada, uh, then from Florida down to the Caribbean, uh, Panama Canal, um, Alaska, Hawaii. So I did a couple of, I did half a season in Europe and I went to the shipyard a few times in Europe as well for new ship launches. So i read the name. That's, that's strange for me if you already can read Cyrillic. I can't read Cyrillic as in all the words on a bottle, especially if I'm filming and just grab it in front of me to look at it. I'd have to really look at the letters and put them together in a, in a word. Um, yeah, in a lot of the supermarkets, they've got flags on the cheeses and on the alcohol section so yeah i've not done all the world cruising but a lot of it and then i've done some holidays in between as well uh, oh it's the capital of dagestan <laughs> there we go um i guess i'll need to get invited to dagestan <laughs> to make videos in dagestan uh, pretty much I invited him. I went myself to watch the football. I was going there like to Tashkent. I was there for a few days. I'd really like to go back there now because it was very easy to fly there, easy to fly home or home back to Moscow. 
and where we st where I stayed was very nice. I mean, very inexpensive hotel, nothing special, but it was very nice, beautiful place. Uh, the cost of things in uh, Tashkent is very reasonable. I mean, maybe to a person living there, it may not be because of the cost of living, but as a traveler there, it was. Um, Russell, I would go crazy being away from my wife for six or eight months per year of the cruise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, at, the, at that point, we were still, you know, it was right when we just got married, before we got married, after we got married. So it was earlier in the relationship, let's say. So we both completely understood the situation with my wife not being able to get the residency or the visa for Australia. So there's no point dwelling on it and pondering on it. You put the application and you wait your year and a half till it gets approved. So it was makes sense for me to get on the, go back on the ship, earn more money, you know, and live. So yeah, I mean, now it's completely different. I mean, if I'm even, if I like went to Kaluga for, for the overnight for that trip to the farmer's market, um, you know, we, we, we miss each other from being one day apart. So it's completely different now than it was years ago, right? So Dagestan is a part of Russia. Yes. Thank you for today, Russell. Thank you, Dang. All right, let's wind it up because I'm never going to... Um, I can't participate in elections because I'm not a Russian citizen. Uh, I have residency here, but I'm not a citizen. I don't have a passport. Uh, my wife can, but I can't. You know what the next step is? House full of kids. Well, we want a cat. That's the first step. Cat. Kids later, cat first, Mark. <laughs> so we uh, looked after our neighbor's cat last week for a week, for a whole week. Uh, Prussia. Uh, we, I posted a couple of photos on the Telegram channel. By the way, if you want to join on Telegram, Traveling with Russell channel, uh, or Traveling with Russell chat, I think is the two different things. 700 more people in the chat, 2,000 plus people on the channel. Thank you, A. Robert. Thanks for the great videos, and thank you for the donation alerts. A. Robert, Anonymous, Men at Work, Adequate Xiaomi Guy, and whoever did it 19 hours ago, also Anonymous. Thank you. Uh, to people who did uh, spare bank, I'm sorry, I don't generally open my phone during the live streams. So, thank you if you did donation. Uh, spare bank, thank you so much. I'm going to just take this off. Thank you, Peter. If you're leaving, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Sergey. Um, yeah, thank you to people who did. Oh, there's a lot of people. Peter, Bearbull, No Left Turns, Andrea, Neon, Neon. Brian, multiple times. Thank you, Brian. Really and truly. Um, I've, I can't even know where I'm looking at the camera. Uh, Steve, Leo, and Binzimul Zamal Gajingshal. <laughs> well, bye for now. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for a good Saturday night. Yes, you're welcome. G'day. Uh, what will be the video from... Oh. Hmm. What? Marin, when will the video from R.C. Podolsk about robots? Marin, how do you know about this video about R.C. Podolsk about robots? That's not coming out for a few days. Well, at least a few days, probably three or four days. <laughs> Marin, maybe I met you there when I went to the... Uh, I went to the warehouse for Pitorichka to go see some robots in action. And... Yes. So yeah, you'll see that video. Uh, I'm just putting it together today, actually, uh, because some of it I had to film, some of it I had to voice over, some of it I talked about while I was there. And it's a little bit hard to now make ends of it because it was a little bit out of sequence. Uh, Marco, hello. Paka. Ochen Priyatna. Ochen Priyatna. Thank you so much, Leo. When you're back for another live stream, we could do one tomorrow night. Because <laughs> I was thinking today was Sunday. And that's why I was panicking. I had to do one tonight because I thought today was Sunday. And today's Saturday. Uh, so, yes. Oh, Marin said he works at the warehouse. So I guess if you watched the last two videos, you saw I did the Pitorichka video, which is the one nearby. 
and then I did the Da Supermarket video. So hopefully if anyone hasn't watched either of them two videos, how did you get to Podolsk? Uh, traveling by car. Yeah, I took the train. Uh, it wasn't quite, it was two stations from Podolsk, but it's Podolsk region, they kept telling me. So I walked from that Perikrostok. Uh, on the map, it says 15 minute walk, but the footpath all the way there and then over a highway and then to the train station wasn't cleared of snow, even though most of it's melting now. So it wasn't a particularly nice walk to the train station. Uh, it was two stations on the two stations north of Podolsk on the D2 line. So I took that back to Moscow, and then I changed to D4, and then took it to a Prelivka home here. It's about two and a half hours total. Uh, probably if I took a taxi, <laughs> it would have been about 45 minutes because Podolsk and Mosk and a Prelivka is not that far, really. But I'm a public transport person. Thank you, Brian, for one more super sticker. You're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> the crazy idea is, well, it's a lot closer than chut chut. Yeah, Podolsk Galina is not really a problem for me to catch trains and buses and everything in Moscow. I've done it all my life. My dad was a bus driver all his life as well. So Marin was working there. So thank you, Marin. I wish I could have filmed more, but we were kind of rushed around a little bit. Um, and I was with another content creator who uh, makes YouTube and he does food tasting. And he got invited with me to make a little video there and things like that. So. Mercedes, hello. Oh, long time no see. I'm just wrapping up the live stream. Uh, I like Da more than Pitorichka now. Yeah, Da is a low-cost supermarket, so it's comparable. So uh, the Pitorichka and Perry Crosstock are the same company, and their low cost is called Chizik, or the little yellow bird. And then Da Supermarket is the competition to Chizik. And then Da Supermarket owns a, another chain, or they own each other, called OK Supermarket. O apostrophe K-E-Y, which I've made videos about OK as well. The Da Supermarket, the original one on my channel, if you search the channel by most popular, it's in the top five or six most popular videos, because I called it the Russian Aldi at the time. I'd never been to it when I made that very first video, so... Uh, I find it very easy to travel in Russia, yes, uh, particularly Moscow region and Moscow. Yes, public transport is more than accessible and more than available. And anything else, you can just put a Yandex search for. Uh, thank you. Yes, everything's good. We're all enjoying this. Dave, I'm trying not to go. <laughs> Basically, it's really the amount of people that do the chats and the suit and the donation alerts and donations that keep me here. I'm the worst person ever to click end the stream because that's just my thing. Get down Saturday night by all of each other's playing now inside my head. Uh, yes, I was confused with, <laughs> with what day it was um, because today has been just a bit of a blur, mostly because of this apartment. And this piece of paper and my crazy idea has become very quickly a, <laughs> a possible idea or a, it will be an idea. So I didn't, I, you know how you have these ideas and you think, oh my God, it's impossible. Oh, it's so long away. And now it's like not. Uh, thanks, Marin. Thank you so much. Yeah, one thing that was interesting, I'll just talk about this before I go. Uh, good to see you. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank you, Brian. If anyone's not going. Uh, and somebody voted for Mr. Putin. Yes, that's today, tomorrow, and yesterday. It's three days long, the election. Uh, the voting of the election, right? So it's three days. Um, I really should just go to the voting booth just to go and have some food. <laughs> because they've got nice snacks and a little cafeteria or canteen set up even though I can't do it. I'm, I want my wife to go tomorrow. I know she will go, but I don't know if, I, I guess we're going to go together. Um, I might come back to work at Carnival. For now, I'm not Mercedes. Unfortunately, this channel has become a little bit too popular. The I Like Cruise Ships YouTube channel, which is probably how you know me and from the cruise ships, 
Um, I was wanting to do all of this content on that channel, and then I ended up creating a separate channel. Another 10 minutes. Dave, I will try to... We're already four minutes over, so that's really six minutes. Um, yeah, I'll just talk about the previous few videos. So the three videos I made in Uzbekistan or in, uh, um, in Bishkek. So I've had this idea for a long time to do vlogging videos, which are basically me filming my daily event or whatever I go and do. And pretty much all the videos on the channel are a video about a place or a thing. And it's got a title, like Russian typical supermarket, things like that. So, you know, where I went to the football, that's my worst performing video in the last 30 or 40 videos. <laughs> and it was kind of the one that I thought would do much better. Me traveling to go watch the football and go to the stadium um, and film, you know, the trip going there through the airport and stuff like that. And it's the worst video on the channel. So I don't know. I imagine that people, <laughs> this is the only thing I can think of. People don't like me traveling, even though it's called traveling with Russell. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of interesting that the uh, Uzbekistan supermarket video and then the Chozu Bazaar video did v v way better. But the only vlogging video I've done of almost the whole channel has been the worst performing video. Uh, rather than me just going somewhere, like for instance, the electric river tram video, I went there and started the video while I was just by the, the dock of the boat and just showed the area, got on the ferry and did the whole trip. Rather than me doing it from home, traveling on the bus, going on the train, going on the metro, you know, walking to the station where the electric river tram starts from, you know, I do videos that are title specific videos and it's interesting that what I thought was the better video has performed the worst. So <laughs> it's interesting. I, I think it is. Uh, why you live in Russia? How did you get there from Australia? Maybe I missed this information in videos. Yeah, so basically um, I met my wife, well, 10 years ago. We were on completely separate holidays in Thailand. Um, pretty much I went to Bali every trip between working on cruise ships. And I decided for some reason to go to Thailand. <laughs> my mom said to me, go to, go to Thailand instead. So I booked a trip. I would go on a holiday on my own. So I'd get the flight, hotel, you know, go and do whatever I want. And I met my wife, or who would be my wife, in a bar one night. She invited me to Russia. So I went back to Australia, flew back to the cruise ships for six months, uh, came back, got a visa to go to Russia, got on the plane and came to Moscow. And I was still working on cruise ships at the time. And there I am here now. Uh, elections will end tomorrow night. Yes. Dumpling abroad. Oh, interesting name. Greeting from Scotland. Thank you. Uh, good. I think people like to see how much everything costs in videos, for example, supermarkets and real estate. Yes. they. I mean, it's very interesting that the best performing videos, if you search by most popular, a lot of them are apartment tour videos. So for sure, I'm going to do Russian typical apartment tour uh, video. Um, and most of it's going to be down to you guys for supporting my crazy idea uh, through all of the different means of the donations and things like that. Pretty much every penny of what this is doing now is going to that. And it has been going to that leading up to this crazy idea number getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, <laughs> and I was, so, oh, yes, <laughs> an electric river tram, so I skipped it. I'm jealous. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, you didn't watch it because you're jealous of it. Uh, <laughs> well, sorry. It's a good video. Actually, I did it originally back in summer when it opened, and I went in the first or second day when it was free for everybody. And then that day I went back. I already planned to do a video in winter on it because it's very cool. I went with actually with Joanna, who's in the live chat or was. Uh, I met her and another channel subscriber in Moscow, and we went together. Actually, I was the tag along with them. And then I knew I had to go back and make a video. So I went on a very beautiful sunny day and did it. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my short when I went to the Tesla dealership. Um, that was absolutely unplanned. Uh, he just said to me, 
I didn't even go there planning to go for a drive in a Tesla. I just went there to make a video at the Tesla dealership. And he said, do you want to go for a drive? I'm like, okay, then if you want to take me for a drive. And we went down to the parking lot to get a car out and went for a spin. And he drove it like he stole it. He uh, literally, probably the video even doesn't do justice that few. He said to me, literally, just turn the camera on. <laughs> That's what he did say to me. And I wasn't really anywhere ready because normally I just put the camera up, start doing a piece, and he, he would drive normally. But he just absolutely floored it. And I was shocked about the acceleration. If anyone's been in a um, electric car before, actually in uh, Tashkent, one of my Yandex cars that I uh, got, Yandex taxis, was electric car, this uh, BYD car. BYD? And the guy there drove it also crazy as well. Uh, not quite as crazy, but... Um, yes, hello from Orenburg. Oh, hello. That's a bargain, just 50... Yeah, 50, yeah, so, yeah, correct. Just 50 BTCs for an apartment. I'm not sure of that currency, but but I like your videos from exhibitions and fairs. Yes, I've got one more pending in my chat, in my videos. One more I've got pending that I've not done. It's now from about, I, I almost have forgotten which fair I went to. I've just got it named as Food Expo. I've got one there that I need to, uh, can I do that? No, yes, there's this one right here where I went to a food expo uh, in um, in Moscow City at the Moscow Expo Center. So that's one. And then I've also got some lined up for next week. No, 19th is the, oh, three days. There's a food expo on the 19th. There's a bakery expo. And then there's a travel expo on the Oh, they're all 19th and 20th. 19, 20, and 22. Is, there's three different expos that I'll go to. Then there's a shopping mall expo on the 1st of April, 2nd of April. But I, I, don't, I won't make a video from the shopping mall expo, but I want to go meet a couple of people that deal with shopping malls. So I think it would kind of help. Oh, what's happened? Oh, my gosh. Now I can't see the chat. I'm going to stop sharing that. Oh, I can't get the chat to come up. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Oh, there it is. Uh, if you miss doing cruise ships, why not do it again? Just not all the time. Yes, Leo, I look, there was a point about, well, not before this channel became a channel where I was on the cusp of having to go back to cruise ships because we needed to pay bills and live pay rent and everything like that. And I literally contacted a few different companies, not even more than just the one I'd work for to quickly, because I've still got a visa. I've still got everything valid, completely valid to get on a ship tomorrow. Um, you know, and, you know, it's still possible that I can do it. So it seems like Russia is more interesting. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely trending topics. Interesting and a little bit nostalgic. Thank you, Dumpling. Scottish living in uh, Russian living in Scotland. That's a bit kind of like polar opposites to an Australian living in Moscow, right? <laughs> uh, thank you for fruit. Thank you for becoming a member, Mercedes. By the way, you'll see videos a little bit earlier. There's some different emojis. Uh, 142 thumbs up reached. I think it's more than that now. Tram ship trip it is. Yes, definitely watch it if you've... Oh, yeah, so you and I went on that, and uh, the three of us went that day, right? I mean, I came along with you guys. I didn't... That wasn't me doing taking you on the trip. Uh, well, B2C is Bitcoin. Did I miss that? Oh, half of Bitcoin for an apartment. Oh, okay, that sounds cheap. I love to travel. Hopefully, one day I will go to your country. Oh, to Moscow, right? Or to Australia? Either one. Uh, Nuvroz. I'm not sure what Nuvroz is, so I don't know what. A... I love your videos. Thank you, Mercedes. 
Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely a change from my cruise ship channel to doing the videos here. Uh, weekly shop. Well, according to Tucker Carlson, it's a hundred dollars or ten thousand rubles. But I think, I mean, even my wife and I probably spend a little bit more than that. I mean, the whole weekly shop thing's difficult because some weeks you're not buying washing powder, some weeks you're not washing buying washing up liquid, some weeks you're not buying toilet paper, or you know, some weeks you need to buy something else. You need a jar of coffee. Next week you don't need one, right? So it's the weekly shop is different. We don't really do weekly shop at all. We go almost every day to the local shops where we live. I mean, they're literally in our building or the next building. Um, so it's not a weekly shopping thing we do. We buy something every day. And normally it's for food for today or tomorrow, literally. We're only a day ahead. Um, I've lived here for close to 10 years. So, you know, it's not really uh, something that I think about. I mean, I was in, well, I was going to Bali around the same time as the uh, Bali bombings when they happened. That's 20 years ago, right? No, more than 20 years, I think. And I still see that uh, monument there in Kuta in honor of everybody that passed away from that event at those uh, different bars that it happened at. And Sari Club, where one of the main events was, the main things. I've been to that bar how many times before that? And Well, it's less than one Bitcoin. Yeah, so it's half a Bitcoin. There you go. Do I find Russian food cheap? Not all food, Marin. Uh, some food, yes, but not all food. I mean, the thing is, I don't eat luxury foods, if I mean, we're not eating salmon and caviar every day, right? It's just for the holidays, you know, but staple foods, yes, they are cheap. They're definitely very cheap compared to Australia. Um, you know, the cost of chicken or pork is cheap compared to, if I, I, I can compare it to Australia. That's the main thing that I do when I compare it. Obviously, the cost of living in Australia is higher. You earn more, but you also spend more. I mean, I'll always use my phone as an example. I'm paying $6 a month for my unlimited internet. In Australia, it was just about $50 a month. So uh, Mercedes has cruised on cruise ships. And I think we might have met on cruise ships, like if I remember right, right? I think one of the cruise ships you were sailing on when I was working on them. So I will buy toilet. <laughs> yes, Mike. Whatever daily. Yeah, exactly, Elkis. Yes. It, right. It's the same as everywhere. Yep. It's, I mean, I'll, my only rule that my wife and I, well, I keep, is as long as we can pay our bills, whether it be rent, mortgage, electricity, water, gas, phone, we need to do the staple things first and everything else second and then everything else third. You know, and then everything else comes down the line after that. So as long as whatever monthly bills we have, so electricity for this apartment would be electricity, water, and then heating because it's winter time at the moment. So central heating's on. Um, so as long as we can pay that and then our rent, we're good. You know, when we move into our own place, we'll have our own bills again. Um, and then we're going to have a list of things we want to do. So we want to change this or fix this, change that. Uh, we don't have to move in. We don't have to change anything moving in. But after that, we will at some point want to do things, you know, little things here and there. So, um, you know, so it's um, it's you know that's the the thing for us. We want to okay. It's impossible, probably realistic, to be debt free. You know, we want to be debt free. Um, I mean, it's much more realistic here in Russia than it is in Australia. You know, absolutely clearly it is. Um, so as much as we can do to get to that point, then it's a bonus. But that's my thing. As long as we can pay the bills, everything else doesn't matter. And I've said that to my wife, you know. It doesn't matter how much money is on my card. It's you that's sort of, my wife does most of the money handling. I don't do too much of it, so... You know, and I say to her, you know, I can go out for the day and just have enough for lunch, catch the train, catch the bus, catch the metro, whatever, and have enough just for lunch. Just I can go out and film for the day, buy lunch when I'm out, come home, and that's my day. As long as I can afford to do that, I'm good, right? I mean, that's my living, that's my cost of living for the day. 
Um, so, no. Uh, uh, yes, Carnival Horizon. Yes, and I brought that ship out from Italy. A lot of fond memories on that ship. And a lot of videos on the YouTube as well from that ship as well. Really cool water slide review video if you want to see me going down water slides on cruise ships. Was it hard to change your normal Australian life, 100 degrees to move to Russia? Uh, I'd say not, mostly because I'd traveled and worked on cruise ships and not lived at home for a lot of years before essentially settling down here. So I really was never living in Australia for the last 20 years, more than 20 years. Um, so it was, I, I'm, I could literally go like in where we're, we're in, um, our neighbor there lives in Kyrgyzstan. I could easily just move there and live there tomorrow and fit into the life of living there, you know, and I can do it easily here like I've done in Moscow region. So it's, I wouldn't say it's 180. I mean, for some people, yes, it is. But I guess I've traveled a whole lot before coming here that it wasn't a big adjustment for me. Hopefully on another cruise. Uh, oh, you've been on crystal cruises. Wow, Leo. Very nice. Crystal Symphony, Crystal Harmony. Yeah, Dave, I want to do a uh, channel subscriber meetup in Moscow somehow. I think um, if Joanna's watching still, uh, who's from Portugal, she's coming to Moscow. I think I want her to arrange us to meet at a bar or cafe somewhere in Moscow. And other people who are in obviously in Moscow can meet up at that place. I don't want to organize something because I, I know if I pick somewhere, it's not convenient for someone. It's convenient for someone else. So I do the same rent lights and food go first. Yes, exactly. That's the key. Well, yeah, rent. <laughs> I say that's the list, right? <laughs> as long as we can pay uh, in Australia, we had gas as well uh, for the oven, but we hardly ever use the gas in our oven. We just used, uh, we didn't use it really that much. So yeah, rent. We had a water bill, electric bill, gas bill, and then a phone bill. That was our main, that was number one. As long as we paid that, we're good. And then everything else was, okay, living was food, of course. Uh, WinLab, I've been to a couple of them. I've not done a separate video about them, though. WinLab Liquor Store. I know there's a, quite a few of them in Moscow, for sure. I need to do something specific, though, about them. Ontario, Canada. Prussia. Or Porsche. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the cat we looked after was called Porsche. 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 That was my mama's idea. My first. Wow. And you went at Crystal on your first cruise. This is like five or six stars, pretty much. Now, you want to come only in Pancake Week. That's now. Well, pretty much ending tomorrow is the last day of Maslanitsa. So. Um, okay, everybody. I think we're done. I think we're good. <laughs> I think everybody's okay. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. So Turkish Airlines. So definitely look up Turkish Airlines, right, Dave? <laughs> That's the main thing to look up. Um, and I know uh, Joanna, who's come to Moscow a couple of trips, flew uh, Portugal to Istanbul and Istanbul to Moscow. Yeah, Turkish Airlines goes through Istanbul. So um, I would imagine there's flights from the UK with Turkish Airlines. He drinks a lager drink. Yes. <laughs> he drinks a whiskey drink. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Could also include the Moscow Elektriska uh, because I came from Berlin. Could you also introduce the Moscow Elektriska or the Moscow Trains? Electricky, electrishka. Uh, I guess you want to see some kind of train videos. Everyone wants to see train videos in Moscow or in Russia generally. Had a lovely evening and have a lovely time zone, everyone. Yes, dampling aboard. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thanks, thanks everybody again. Thanks everybody for super chats, super stickers, super thanks. Thanks for donation alerts. 
There's always a link in every video to donation alerts, by the way. Um, and then it comes to my f uh, spare bank the next day at three or four in the morning. Um, and then it goes straight to this piece of paper, by the way. Um, do you want to do a live stream tomorrow night? That's my last question. That's Spokinoki. Uh, Sergey Spokinoki. Greetings from Prague. Thank you, Mercedes. Yes. You can also fly via Morocco. Direct flights from Rabat. I didn't know that. Morocco to Moscow. I'm sure when I go to the airport, I should look at this, the board, the flight board, and there's probably all sorts of ways to fly. I mean, even that Uzbekistan Airways, I don't think it goes as far as Europe, but I noticed when I arrived in the airport there, there was flights from Tashkent to New York. New York to Tashkent. I guess that's probably with Uzbekistan Airways. I don't know, but everyone wants me to do a live stream tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> Spocky Noki. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trains. Yes, please. Exploration Canada. Thanks. Okay, everybody. So uh, if you haven't watched the last couple of videos on the channel, uh, particularly the last two supermarket videos, catch up and watch them. If you're really struggling, watch, uh, search your the the channel by oldest first, and watch something when I didn't really know what I was doing making videos. Um, I really started out from zero subscribers. Literally, I opened the channel with no subscribers. I posted videos. The goal was to get to 50 gold. And if you ever watched the first few videos on the channel, I popped up a little uh, thing that said, you know, 13 subscribers on the channel. Uh, yes, Vitali, thank you. If anyone wants to talk about me or about Russia or about anything about life, Vitali is over there on Traveling with Russell Chat uh, on Telegram. And it's a very nice, friendly uh, channel, chat channel, uh, definitely. 700 people there. There's always somebody online 24 hours a day. So there's plenty of people. Uh, big kiss. Thank you, Ivanka. Thank you, Joanna. I think, you know, in the two, how many times we met? I don't, did we even properly hug? Did we properly kiss? You know, like friends, you know, the whole thing like this, you know. I think it became like more friendship, right? Oh, Ivano, <laughs> Ivanka. Joanna wants tomorrow. Ivanka, Joanna, sorry. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Everybody wants me to do Maybe we'll do it about this time again. Is that good? If we do it starting at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, is this a good time to start? I think everybody looks like they want to do it tomorrow night. So, yeah, I'm, I'm better doing it later than earlier, even though earlier I finish earlier and then I can relax earlier, right? That should be really the thing. <laughs> so, okay. Your videos from Kaluga Fair was... Yes. Lots of people like that Kaluga video. Um, and I was on a bit of a time frame with that. I literally took the train there, uh, made the video and took the train back because it was an event that I, I uh, like a, a convention. But it was like a mini convention specifically for the event that I attended. Whatever times works best for you. Yeah, I'll, what I'll do though is I'll put the schedule of it earlier in the day. Uh, so that everybody knows earlier what time it starts. That makes sense. Casablanca directly. Oh, that sounds very fancy. Royal Moroccan Airlines from Casablanca. I guess you know all these European ways to get to Moscow, right? Huh. Okay. All right. I'm going to click end stream and I'm going to go now and eat chicken nibbles. They're not ready yet. <laughs> they will be in about 20 minutes. <laughs> They probably already climb out, climbed out the fridge themselves. Speak more Russian with your wife. <laughs> well, only when she's mad with me, she speaks Russian to me. So uh, she wants to learn more English and correct her English more. How to fly from Berlin to St. Petersburg. I'm not sure. Berliner. So yeah, join us over on Telegram chat on Traveling with Russell chat. And you can continue chatting. If anyone wants to post a comment under this live stream, you're welcome to. And if you want to watch an old video, go for it. Uh, or at least one of my recent videos, 
the one of me going to the football, I don't know what's happened to that. So I'll just have to let it go and move on. Yeah, I try, Marin, I'm trying to convince my wife to be on a live stream more than once. So let's see if we can get her on tomorrow. I know she's got a couple of appointments in her salon, and then we're going to go to Maslanitsa. And hopefully by the afternoon, she'll be convinced to make a video together or a live stream. Surely you can stay. For, no, because my wife needs to come and put it in the oven and not be in the background of the video. So <laughs> thanks, everybody. I'm out of here. Okay. <laughs> Bye.